Greetings, elders of Ikogwe land. Igwe. As you all are aware, it is a new farming season. And I think I want us to think of how to produce much more food so that we'll have enough to feed our families before the next farming season. Yes. <laughs> and remember, it will not be our turn to farm next season. Of course. Good. Your Highness, you are right. We really have to work harder this year because I know how difficult it has been for this past year on our people. We will work harder. Okay, good talk. I think I will employ more laborers to join the other ones on Igodo land. What an excellent idea, Moaiyes. You are wisdom, Simo of Excellent idea. Eh? Excellent idea that requires more money. Why? Is it not better to spend more money now so that we can have a job so that will serve us for the next few <laughs> Anyway, I will employ more laborers. We shall pay them. Because I cannot risk my people suffering from any drought or famine. <laughs> Your eyes are finished! Your eyes are finished! Your eyes are finished! What is this? Believe me, you are not there. Speak to us the way we can understand. Yeah, son of a girl. What is this? I went, to, I went to check my friend. I think we're going to land. We left the thing. To, to, to prepare their farm life for cultivation <laughs> or getting there <laughs> I saw a woman of warriors killing all of the people <laughs> what? <laughs> they killed all of the people my friends <laughs> impossible impossible <laughs> you can follow me. Let's go there. <laughs> so you can see things for yourself. Your Highness, Your Highness, please permit us to go there and see ourselves. My princess, please, I've said I'm sorry. Please, it won't happen again. Please, forgive me. Please, I said I'm sorry. Shut up! So, after seeing my nakedness, you still had the mind to look at another woman. Obunimi, that's an insult to me and my status. I will never forgive you. Never! Please, I see. It was a mistake. Please, it won't happen again. Please, my love, please forgive me. Please. Uh. Too, too late. I, Princess Uri, do not go back on my words. And you know it. Please. Obum uh. in your next life, you will never mess with people like me again. Please, I beg you. Please, Show for me. the sake of our love, please. Order the death of an innocent man. What sort of cruelty was that? Where is your heart for forgiveness? Forgiveness is a sin to me. Wait here. 
What even gave you the impetus to stop me and ask me stupid questions that does not concern you? You know I could kill you for this. Not in your lifetime. What? My princess, please. This is not a good time to do this. I wish you don't do it. Do not think you have escaped me. I will still get you. Today would have been your last day on earth. Let this be the last time you will leave this palace, not chaperoned by God. Father, what is wrong? Don't you know this village is under attack? It is not safe for you to be out there alone as a princess. Uh, but it's not my first time going out to hunt alone. Why the sudden paranoia? I believe you have heard me. Don't step out of this palace alone again. This is my first time. Don't, don't I? Osigwe, how did it go? Everything went well, Your Highness. Your message was properly delivered. Very good. This is just the beginning. They must do as I have said. Otherwise, we'll deliver more messages to them. <laughs> the great lion of Alumuna, who uses this call of an elephant as his foot tool. I greet you. May you be like tomorrow, because tomorrow never ends. It shall be well with you. You may go now. Thank you. <sighs> Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, my prince. <clears throat> you are just coming at the right time. Join me in this feast. May I ask what you're celebrating, Your Highness? Every day is what celebrating. You know, sitting on this mighty stool of power. Exercising my control is something worth celebrating. Your Highness, I saw the head warrior leaving the palace. May I ask what he was here for? Oh, he just came to greet me. Your Highness, I hardly see the head warrior around the palace, except he had gone on a mission and has come to give you a report. Uh, sometimes I invite him over for a drink. I mean, you are hardly at home to take notice of this. Why not get a cup? Get a cup and drink with me today. Go, go, go. Get a cup and drink with me. Get a cup. <laughs> this is premium pan wine. Nietzsche, uh. look who we have here. <laughs> oh, Ofoji, mm. what an unexpected visit. Mm -hmm. Come in and have a drink with us. I do not dine with vultures like you. Hey! Hello! Go for it! your Do you realize it is my Igwe you are talking to? What just squeaked there? Oh! I see. There is a conspiracy here. It is obvious. It is obvious, Your Highness. They have all conspired with their wicked king. You. I will be forced to have your head if you dare to disrespect this noble assembly one more time. <laughs> you will do no such thing, Unjoko. I have tolerated your excesses enough. Your insults are enough. Why did you send your warriors to kill my people? Famine on that Igodo land. Great. <laughs> also, you got my message. <laughs> Our warriors. <laughs> well, when a snake refuses to show its venom, then children will use it as a rope. Yes. Oh, Njoko. Njoko, 
you know it is not your turn to farm on that land this season. What are you trying to achieve? Ofoji, I called you as a friend and begged you for this simple favor, but you refused. What are you expecting? That I should accept? That my people should not farm on that land when it is our turn to farm? You want us to come here begging for food in your yes. palace? Listen. Is that what you want? Listen. If you had any respect for me, then you would have consented to my request. Because I know from history that that land belongs to my people. Oh. But our grandfathers in their time had an agreement not to share it, but to rotate its usage. Which is what we have been doing yes. until now that you want to bring this unity because of your greed. It was a simple request and you ought to have shown some respect. Exactly. Yes. That kind of request can never pass through. Never. That land was generally owned by our grandfathers. Like you said, whoever is feeding you with that lie is only beating the drums of war for you yes. and deceiving you, Joko. Yes. Or forging. You will allow my people to farm on that land for one more season, or there will be trouble. Trouble, you say, Joko? Then get ready to dance to the tune of this music you have just started. Yes. Let us leave. He threatened me. <laughs> Ofoji came to my palace to threaten me. <laughs> Wanza, One breath. I don't blame him. It is my father who ought to have secured that land before dying. Oh. But I guarantee you something. Our people will farm on that land for one more season or two, whether they like it or not. Wow. Hey, that was very unfair. Green Joker. Eh? Um, my husband, what do you intend to do? Well, I'm still thinking. But one thing is sure. I will never allow them farm on that land. Never. Please, my husband. I understand how you feel. And I'm not happy about what is happening. But. We must consider peace here. Did that fool and his people consider peace before taking that decision they took? Did they? Obviously they did not. Please, my husband, allow them to farm this season. We'll find a way to, to manage we are not as much as Alumina people. Please, let's manage and allow peace to reign. Can you listen to yourself? Honestly, if you were not my wife, I would have done something terrible tonight. How can you say such a thing? I shall allow them to farm at the detriment of our people. Never! It will never happen. Please, my I think I've had enough of that. I want to sleep. Woman, I said you should allow me to sleep. Please. Or don't I have the right to rest as the king of my own village? You must listen to me. What else do you have to say? Other than to criticize and condemn every action and decision of mine. Iwe, you are fanning the embers of war in this unity with your actions and decisions. And war is the last thing our people need right now. Our people are not afraid of war. We have the best warriors and weapons. Iwe, why go to war? When you can put a stop to this unnecessary greed and avarice for food and wealth. So fighting for the welfare of our people is now greed, huh? You are being unfair and wicked to the people of Ikowe. It is not their fault that we didn't make enough proceeds from the last harvest. 
it is their turn to farm. Fat land is their source of livelihood, the same way it is for us. That land rightfully belongs to us, in case you are ignorant of history. I am not disputing ownership, Igwe. I am not. It's an age-long agreement between us and the people of Ikowe. Please, let us manage the proceeds from our last harvest. It will last us till the next season. Please, allow them to farm. Ah! You annoy me. A queen is supposed to stand by every decision of her husband, the king. But in your own case, it is different. Where you slapped me. I will strangle you if you don't get out of this room now. Get out! Mama, hey, hey. I overheard you and Papa quarreling last night. What was that about? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? <laughs> we were just having a husband and wife issues. So it's nothing. Mama, how can you just be having a husband and wife conversation and your voices were so loud? Um, why not finish with what you're doing then? We'll talk. That's no problem. I have all the time in the world. Let's go. Now. Igwe and Joku spat on our faces. Especially mine. Enough is enough. We will not tolerate this anymore. Even my wife suggested we dialogue with him. I said, no, it's no longer time for dialogue. Enough is enough. Yeah. I don't buy that idea. Hmm. Your Highness, there is nothing to dialogue again. Oh. Nothing. After all, he has the support of the members of his cabinet in his wicked actions. Mm -hmm. I think I know what I will do. I will send some more laborers to that land to go and farm. Let me see how Igwe and Joko will stop them from farming. Mm. I will also send some guards and warriors to guard them. And possibly too, he has to be with them. Igwe, I support you. There's no time to waste now that you have less of him. I don't understand. Are we going to go hungry because we are sharing land with Alumuna people? Huh? We must farm because it is our turn to farm on that land. Even the gods know that. And we are going to farm on that land, whether they like it or not. Yes. Igwe, I support you. I support you. Igwe, I support you wholly. But we have to be prepared in case of any further attack. Of course. Yes, we Of course. That. And we have the warriors that are capable of doing that. That man, Gordon Joko, is a wicked man. Very wicked and heartless. We will meet I him imagine. at his point. I imagine. We'll meet him at his point. Yeah. Father, why did you ask my mother out of your room last night? Son, don't you think a greeting should have come first? I am not in the mood for that. You asked my mother out of your room and she cried all through the night. Why? Oh, she told you, huh? Of course. <sighs> that woman will never stop making me angry. Tell me what happened. Sit down. No, I don't want to sit down. I prefer standing. <sighs> okay. Let me clear the air. The people of Ikogwe want to take a parcel of land that rightfully belongs to us. You mean Igodo land? Precisely. Why? 
They are laying claims on that parcel of land and they have started terrorizing our people. I called your mother to discuss with her and get some advice from her. But do you know what she told me? That I should allow them to take possession of that land. No. That is stupid. If we relinquish this land to them, where do they expect us to feed on? That is the foolishness of your mother. I tried to make her see reason with me, but she refused and started insulting me. That's when I got angry and slapped her and kicked her out of the room. But your majesty, you shouldn't have done that. I mean, how will our people feel? What would they say when they hear that their king, that they respect and adore so much and look up to, now slaps and kicks the wife out of the room? You, leave us. Well, son, maybe I overreacted. But you must understand that women are living temptations that every man must try to avoid. But she is your wife and the queen of this kingdom. Your Majesty, you should learn how to control your temper when you're dealing with your wife. She deserves an apology. <laughs> Go and do as I said. Oh, my dear daughter, my paragon of beauty, how are you? Fair enough. Mother told me everything. Told you what? Father, I understand you don't want me to know about everything going on. But I am your daughter. I should be in the know on everything happening in this land. I still cannot fathom what you're talking about. The recent killings. Why have the people of Alumina refused to give us the land to work on this season? Great. Very simple. Great. I have confronted their king. And he said they did not have a bountiful harvest last season. Therefore, they would want to farm on that land again this season. But if they do, we will have less food to feed on. And we'll be forced to buy food from them. Exactly. But he refused, insisting that he wants to farm on the land this season again. So what is on your mind? War! War, my dear! Nobody steps on the tiger's tail and goes free. I have sent laborers to the land of Igodo to farm. And if the people of Alumana, as much as dare, touch any of my workers, they will leave me with no option than to embark on a war with them. And I am capable. Very well then. If war is the only option, Father, I need to prepare myself for war. No, my princess. No. You are the future of this kingdom. I cannot allow you to risk your life. Father, I am the princess of this land. I cannot sit back and watch my people go on a war. Why am I their future leader? This fight is not your fight. It is my kingdom. This is our land. Father, any fight of the land is my fight. And I will fight. I will surely fight. Don't you understand that I have enough warriors to embark on this war? Princess! Princess! Olachi, come back here! Princess! Olachi! <clears throat> my son. Papa. That was all the truth about Igodo land. Papa, if what you just told me is the whole truth, 
Then why is Igwe Njoku stopping us from farming on that land this season that is our turn? Greed. Greed, my son. He's just greedy. And that attitude of his might bring problem between us. Problems? Yes. Problems like um, war or something? Yes, of course. War. War. Because Igwe Foji we never, never allow anyone to take his rights from him. I just wonder why he's being greedy. Why is he being greedy, Papa? That is what is baffling everybody. Son. Papa. Get inside and give me water to drink. Okay, Papa. <laughs> I've been thinking recently concerning the issue between us and the alumina people and I've decided to revisit their king. Mm. You mean Igwenjoku? Yes. I want to give dialogue a last chance before asking our warriors to prepare for an imminent war against them. Mm. Mm. Your Highness, I don't see Igwenjoku as a man who is willing to give peace a chance. He has sold his conscience. Exactly. Since his people have consented to his actions, I doubt if he will heed to reasons. I doubt. Well, those who have made peaceful change impossible have made violent change inevitable. What is it? Why are you running like a man whose house is on fire? It has happened again, oh. It has happened. It's a rebel, so. 
I went to I went to Igor Dolan uh -huh. to join the rest of the laborers there. I don't get it there. <laughs> I am half on him. I saw all of them dead with their heads cut off. Oh. Including my beloved brother. No! Not again! What kind of thing is that? Oh! I know this must be the handiwork of Alumona people. Now, get me the head warrior guard. Get me the head warrior. Let him muster all the warriors together. We must head back on a war against them. But Igwe, you talked about giving peace a chance. Dialogue. Go on. <laughs> men that win wars are men who are not afraid of war. Mm. Convince your enemies that you are ever ready for them. They will never attack you again. <laughs> Not on the body. Look beyond the body. Let your blood be on your lips. Look beyond us. Lighten your weight like the frog. Focus! Let your sheep protect your heart and aim at the left. Wingers. The crab. Wrenches. The crab goes low. One thing. One thing. Is the target. The target. Justifies them now! <laughs> He told you. Are you suggesting the king lied to me? Of course he did. He's the one causing this problem. See, our people are in agreement with the people of Igogwe to be rotating the usage of Igodo land since it's the only massive land that separates us from them. Our people feed from the farm produce just like the people of Igogwe. I am aware of that. Your father refused them from using the farmland. And it's their turn. Why? He gave an unreasonable excuse. That since we didn't make much from the last harvest, that he should allow us this time. Oh, that's unfair. I contested it. That was why he slapped me. And asked me to leave his presence. He's late, father. 
never laid a hand on his mother. I don't know why your father likes beating me. It's okay, Mama. Stop crying, okay? Okay? My son, promise me you will never follow his footsteps. I promise you, Mama, I will never follow his footsteps. But please, I want you to go and make peace with His Highness. I'm not comfortable seeing both of you in enmity. Please, I beg of you. I will. Thank you very much. Greetings, my princess. Greetings. And, May, come here. It's my princess. Call me Osigwe. Tell him I demand his presence at once. Please, my princess. The queen sent me on an errand. What? How dare you? How dare you? Are you stupid? Are you mad? How dare you give me an excuse? Let today be the first and the last day you will try this. Now get lost and fetch me a cigarette at once. Yes, my princess. Uri, this is inhuman. I've been telling you about this. I do not need your advice. Obinwa, I can never be like you. I can't have anybody insult me around here. I've warned you before. Stop interfering in my affairs. I'm not going to say this again. Sorry for hitting you, my queen. It was an act of anger. An act of anger indeed. This is not the first time or the second time you're doing this. I know, and I am really sorry. I have no right to raise my hand on my queen, and I really regret doing so. Please forgive me, please. Iwe. I still maintain my stand on your decision concerning the people of Igo. Please, allow them the right to farm. Biko! I thought that by now you might have seen reason with me on this issue. And what reason are you talking about, Igwe? When did you become so wicked and insensitive? Don't insult me. Don't insult me. Igwe, slapping me would make me stop telling you the truth. What you are doing is just sheer wickedness. I heard you murdered some of the villagers in Igwe. What? Trust me, this third one will hurt even more. How dare you? Is it because I humbled myself to come and apologize to you? Mind the way you talk to me. You hear me? Mind the way you talk to me. And where are you going? Come back and slap me! Wicked man! Wicked man! <laughs> I didn't ask you to sit. I wish to be left alone. Well, I do not have the intention of wasting your time. I will leave you in a jiffy. 
But you need to listen to me. Like a dog. You need to stop, mother. If men were gods, I wouldn't wish your type to be a human. Where is your conscience? Don't you know you're a woman? Eh? Save it! I don't need your advice. I just want you to stop being a distraction to us. Simple! Well, if you don't stop, of course you know your husband so well. He will keep hating you. My paragon of beauty, I can see you caught a very big one this time around. Not even a smile for your father, the king. Okay. I know you're not pleased with me. I need to be alone. Please. Please, my daughter. I want you to see reason with me. Yeah, please. You know, I have no heir to the throne. And I love you very much. You may not know, but your mother and I looked for a child for a very long time before the gods decided to bless us with you. Please, going to war is a very dangerous thing, considering who you are. My position as a princess should not make me a less warrior than I am, father. My daughter, your strength and bravery are very amazing. And that's why the people admire you so much. Please, I will not allow you to risk your life to go to war. Father, I am a warrior who will not just sit back and watch her people perish. If I cannot fight to protect the land, then I am not worthy to ascend the throne when you are gone. Father, please, let me prove my strength. Olachi, your strength and your bravery have been proven over and over again before me and before all the people of this community. But please, let the warriors do this. Let them do this, please. Father, I need to be alone. Think of it again. <laughs> Amuma the great warrior. Welcome. How are the preparations going? Your Highness, I and the rest of the warriors are ready. Good. I want you to get my own sword by tomorrow. So you will go to Wakwe, the sword maker, and collect my own. Your Highness, you mean your own sword? Yes, of course, my sword. The bushfire does not wait for the slow chameleon. I must lead the warriors and destroy the people of Alomona. Your Highness, you can't be thinking of going on a war. I have made my decisions. Uh, Amuma, are you with me? Yes, Your Highness. If the great king of Ikoego land decides to dance in the forbidden forest, then I will set the course. Good. These are the kind of people I like. We must lead our people and fight for what is ours. We must fight to feed our people. And I'm sure that victory will surely be ours. <laughs> uh, you may go. My elders, uh, I understand the murmurings some of you are making. But 
you must understand that you must face your fears someday. We cannot continue to wait for Njoku to threaten us. I must confront Njoku and I am sure we will have victory. Yes, we have victory. Ibe. Papa, we wish to speak with you. <sighs> I hope you all is well. Papa, is the Igwesi insisting on going to war? Yes. Yes. Uh, Papa, you can't allow him. He's not that strong enough to fight. But please look for a way and talk him out of it. Yes, Papa. You know, the Igwe is a good man, and we can't afford to lose him now to war. Please, Papa, you have to do something very fast about it. Exactly. Yes, the Igwe is a good man. But you need to know that he is a poorly a stubborn man. You hardly convince him. I may go there and talk to him, but he may not take my own advice. But just try first, Papa. I mean, just try. Eh? You've always advised us on trying first. Just Papa, you have to just try your best. You have to do something very fast. We can't lose the Igwe now. We cannot. It's okay. I will. Thank you. I will. Thank I thank you so much for your concern. Hmm? Thank you. I'm proud to have you as my own children. <laughs> thank you, thank Papa. you, Papa. May the gods bless you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. My husband, don't you think you are putting this kingdom in great danger? How do you want us to survive if anything happens to you? Or are you planning on making me a widow? With God's forbid. How can I make you a widow? Nothing will happen. Anyway, my daughter is there to take over. Ha! Huh. You know she's not ready yet. And she is too young to become fatherless. <laughs> you know, you talk as if something is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. I repeat, nothing is going to happen. And talking about our daughter, you feel she's too young, but don't forget she's a warrior and she can stand up to any challenge. Oh, you lay near. <laughs> you are not going on that war. I will not let you destroy yourself. Really? Any idea of how you want to stop me? Huh? Please go and get my food. <laughs> I said go and get my food. So, you wanted to see me in Zewi? Yes, Your Highness. Uh, I have been thinking about this year's decision. To join the warriors in the war. What about it? Your Highness, I don't think it is the best decision. You know, the truth is that we should know that you are the king of this land. <laughs> but that's the more reason why I should lead the war. A leader should lead by example. Your Highness, I still want to plead with you. Let me go in your place. I know you were the head warrior in our youthful days. But you should remember also that I was the only one who could match with you. <laughs> I'm glad you remember that I was the Odogu. <laughs> Odogu is always an Odogu. <laughs> but how can I ever forget those glorious days? <laughs> well, the main thing is that I must protect my kingdom. I must protect my people. And that's why I must embark on this war. I'm not a whimpering coward. Your Highness, I know. You are not a coward. Even the gods attest to that. Hey, but I want to remind you that strength fleets with age. No, 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 no. Zoe, I will not accept that. At least not in my case. I'm a valiant. 
I'm a warrior. I've always conquered. And I'm a king. I must proceed on this war. All I need from you is that you and other elders should take charge of the affairs of the kingdom while I'm away. And I assure you of one thing. Victory is sure. On Obrazo Dogukam. Victory will be ours. Mama. What are you doing? Nothing. I just saw you put something in the Igwe's food. It's for his own good. I don't understand. Your father wants to make me a widow. He wants to go on a war with the warriors. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Are you not listening to me? I said your father wants to make me a widow. Eh? And you know his chance of survival is very slim. How would you know that? It's been ages. He wielded a sword. He has lost his strength. And I don't want him to go there and perish just like that. Okay. So what is that she put into his food? I just added a little substance that will make him weak. Then he can ask the warriors to go without him. It was the only... the wise thing I could think of. I don't want you to grow up without a father. Nothing will happen to the Igwe. Olachi, I don't blame you. We have not seen war before. You know my father will not be happy if he finds out you put something in his food. And he will not forgive you. I'm willing to take that chance. He decided to go for the war willingly. Just allow him go. Allow him and his chi, please. Please, my daughter. I want you to understand me. Your father... He's not as strong as he used to be. Please, I don't want them to kill him for me. Mama, let's be very optimistic. Nothing will happen to the Igwe. I know the gods will make him come back safely. Nothing will happen to him. Okay? Come, let's go. Where's the Don't worry, nothing will happen to me. Um, what about it? I'll throw it away, it's just don't. Good day, my princess. Save your greetings. I don't need it. You two come here. Come here. So this is how you defy the land. What were you two doing there? Nothing, my princess. We were not doing anything, my princess. Call me a liar. Does this mean I don't know what I saw? No, my princess. Now, are you two married? No. No, my princess. Oh, really? Instead of helping your parents out in the farmland, or better still get useful to yourselves, you choose to stay here and misbehave. Sorry, we are sorry, my princess. princess. Sorry. We are so sorry, my princess. You. My princess. Take them to the palace and lock them up. Ah, you will remain there until I decide sorry, what to do with sorry. you. Move. Take them away! Move, move, move. 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 Move, move
Princess, why are we stopping? I think we should wait for Ungwele to come before we proceed. Yes, my princess. I've done as you instructed, my princess. Good. Thank you, my princess. Let's proceed. Hey, hey. Listen, everyone, pick water at one thing and leave this thing at once. The princess of our land is said to take her bath, and you advise not to come back until she's true. Leave now! No, no, move! Hey, you! Come back here! This way. What were you saying? What's happening? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, come back here. You. You will take her to the palace and lock her up. What? Yes, my princess. You will remain there until I change my mind. Take her away! Yes, my princess. Take her away! <laughs> Going out. Princess, what is wrong with you? How could you lock up people's children in there? What did they do to you? Oh, is it about those low lives in there? Um, well, if you must know, they insulted me. Mwa, Princess Uri. I will so deal with them so that next time when they see my shadow, they will take to their heels. 
And what do you hope to achieve with this? What? My pride. Your pride? Mm -hmm. Of course, you know my pride is so important to me. The will remain in there until I change my mind. Mother, don't do anything stupid or funny. One more thing. Father knows they are in there on my command. Tell me what I can for a beacon. I have warned you to stop intruding in my affairs. Why did you release those prisoners, Obinwa? Those people you call prisoners are our people. They are not prisoners and they don't deserve to be there. Don't you have conscience? Mumwa, Princess Ure! Shut up! Obinwa, how dare you talk to me? Please shut up your mouth! Shut up! Is it because for the size and everything you do? Now let me remind you, I am the heir to this throne. Okay? And don't you dare push me! Oh. We shall see! Obi Wan, we shall see! Let me see Father first! <laughs> he that fights for that which rightfully belongs to him will surely receive the earth peace of the gods. Just like the wasps that never fail to return to its nest to equip for the next round of action. So shall you go and return. If you are the gods of our ancestors, we guide and protect you. Luna. <laughs> Eje luno Ige eje iga nata Eje luno Morning. As we embark on this journey, the gods of our ancestors will guide and protect you. Ha ha ha! 
Son, your highness, where are you going? Hunting, of course, your highness, as you can see. All right. I was actually waiting for you. There is something I want to discuss with you. Your highness, maybe it has to wait till I come back. I'm already late and very soon the animals return to their holes. Please. All right. Why not go with some guards? Guards? To hunting? Your Highness, that will only be distractions and I don't need it. All right. Be careful. Thanks, Your Highness. Me, please, please don't, don't hurt me, please.
Woman, what is it? Have you seen our son Obinwa? Why do you ask? Is he not back from hunting? No, I have not seen him since morning. Did he tell you he was going to visit his friends after hunting? We have gone to all his friends' houses and none of them saw him today. No. My son cannot go missing like that. He must be somewhere in the forest playing. Guards! Right now, go and look for him. And when you find him, make sure you come back with him. Use force if the need arises. Go! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I just pray my son is safe. I pray he's safe. Nothing will happen to him. I'm sure he's somewhere playing. Go and get me my food. I'm hungry. My king, I'm still amazed though. I'm still amazed! Eh? How did you manage to catch that stupid boy, the prince? That's why I brought you people here. <laughs> so I can tell you the details. Eh? We were on our way to Alumona village uh -huh. when we met the prince hunting in the forest. Alone, no guards. Yeah. Yeah. So in my wisdom, I decided we retreat or take the boy hostage. Hi. That's how we caught him. Even what a perfect way of getting my mother to be killed of Alumona. But uh, what do you intend to do with him? No. The boy has not done anything to not us. At all. It's just a way of punishing his stupid father for all the useless things he has done in this yes. I'm sure he doesn't even know where his son is. Wouldn't know. They will be looking for him now. And they, he might decide to come. No, he will do no such thing. He is he not afraid? Did he or anybody see us kidnapping his son? Uh -huh. oh. Let him stay there while we were here planning another attack. Yes. <laughs> so, we did not even wage any war. And our Igwe and the warriors are back home safely. Yes. Yes. What a victorious way to deal with that beast. Oh. Now, we have his one and only son as a leverage in case he wants to attack us again. Uh -huh. oh. Wow. <laughs> Let's go and celebrate. So you are full of wisdom. Oh. So like I was telling you, mm. a stitch in time they say saves nine. That is true. That the is earlier 
the better. That's an amen one, a man or that. So we have to take the bull by the horn. But oh no, wait to. I have to be frank with you. I am not too comfortable with our king's decision of kidnapping that boy. It could lead to more deadly things. It's yours, Abba. You spoke as though you are in my mind. Hmm. Igwe Njoko, I know very well. He's very stubborn. <laughs> hey? And come to think of it, I don't even know why he is being greedy. I don't know. Because he knows very well that it is our turn to farm on that land. I have known Igwe Njoko for a long time. As a very greedy man, so I'm not surprised. Now, look at what his poor and innocent son is suffering. suffering. The sin of the father. Oh. Well, he has to suffer it. But if I know my own Igwe, he will stop at nothing to get what is his own. We must get our position back. Mam, that is all. Mam, let's go. I'm happy. I'm happy. Hello. Thank you so much. Now I am more comfortable. I'm happy. Ndiche. Osigwe was here and he told me that some of his men spotted the princess of Ikogwe at Amii Forest. They captured her, but she escaped. Elders, we have a problem. Hey. The people of Ikogwe have dealt a blow on us. What do we do? Igwe, as far as I am concerned, this act of wickedness must never go unpunished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Hmm. I don't want to believe that they have killed our priest. To fear Kwa the gods for me. Hmm. I don't think they want to hurt the prince. From the look of things, it is obvious that they want to punish us for what we did. Mm. <laughs> On assumption, Your Highness. Your Highness, we are talking about your prince, the heir to your throne. Ufumpulanya. Ufumpulanya, Your Highness. I understand. We will definitely respond, but not immediately. For now, let us pretend that nothing happened. I believe they do not know that we know they have a hand in this. Mm. With all due respect, Iwe, the fact that the princess of Ikowe was found around this village the same day the prince got missing is <laughs> a clear indication that they had a hand in it. Yes! Of course, they do. They do. But you know, an elder uses wisdom to chase away the fly that is perched on his manhood. Yeah. Oh yes, oh yes. What's the wisdom? We will not respond immediately. Let us take a moment and think out the best way to approach this. But one thing is certain. They will pay for this with their lives. That is true. They must be very true. Father. What happened? I saw a young man locked up in the prison. Who is he? Oh, <laughs> that is the Prince of Alomona. What? You took the Prince of Alomona hostage? Why? Is he not better? The warriors and I were embarking on a journey to Alomona for a battle when we saw the Prince and decided to hold him captive instead of a backing on the bloody war. Of what use is he to you if you keep him here? We want to send a message to his father so that he will stop killing our people and allow us farm on Igodo land. No, no, father, that is unfair and wicked. The poor boy should not be punished for the sins of his father. That's not nice. Olachi, the life of one Ikogwe villager is worth more than the life of an evil man said. He will remain here for as long as his father refuses to stop killing our people 
and allow us farm on that land. Father, he is innocent. That's not nice. The, 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 the young man is innocent. Why will you just keep, keep, him, keep him here because... He remains here. He will remain here. You are still crying. Where is my son? I told you not to worry. Our son will be brought back. Can you be so sure? I advised you, didn't I? I advised you, but you wouldn't listen to me. Forge may think he has dealt me a blow, but this will be his greatest mistake. Just go and give me my soul back, he will. I can't imagine the pain and suffering he must be going through. That is, if actually he's still alive. Look, I assure you nothing will happen to our son. Just be patient and let me think of the best way to handle this. I want to hit Oforji in a way that he will never forget. In fact, I want him to breathe his last for daring a humble tiger like me. Why not allow them to farm? And bring me back my son, Nikolo. They will never farm on that land. Never. Not this season or the next. In fact, they will never use that land again. For what Ofoji has done, never. Igwe. If anything should happen to that boy, Igwe, if anything happens to my son, I swear, I will never forgive you. Where are you going? Come back and sleep. Father, I just saw your wife, the queen, and she's not looking bright at all. Did um, the both of you have issues last night? You know your mother, she always worries much too much. I assured her that Obinwa is fine and alive, but she didn't believe me. She didn't want to listen to me. Um, Father, in as much as Obinwa and I are not best of friends, he is still my blood. I wonder how he foolishly fell into the hands of Ikogwe people. But father, we have to do something. We can't continue leaving him there to suffer. <clears throat> My daughter, when a man is silent, he's not stupid. He simply has a lot of things on his mind. Oforji has dared me and he will forever live to regret his actions. Don't worry. Don't worry. Your brother will soon be out. I have made my plans and very soon I will put them in action and your brother will be brought back. Hmm. Hmm. Father, you know I have always trusted your judgment and I won't start doubting you now. But, um, you see that land, never allow them farm there again. <laughs> Hunger will wipe them all away from this. <laughs> That's my daughter. You know, our spirits always go together. That's exactly what I told your mother. And so shall it be. Good. Father, you know, I'm so proud of you. You are my daughter indeed. <laughs>
Papa. You are arranging the woods. Yes, Papa. Papa, yes. I've been thinking about something. Thinking about what? The kidnap of Igwe and Joko's son. Don't you think he will find out that our Igwe is behind the kidnap? Well, I don't know. And we have not heard anything from Igwe and Joko or his people. Don't you think um, he might be planning a secret attack or something? Secret attack? Well, I, 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 still I don't know. I don't know. But I'm sure that Igwe Foji has instructed his warriors, the warriors of this land, to be on alert. That's not the best decision, Papa. Let him release the son. It's not the best decision, coupled with the fact that... Namde! Papa. Enough is enough. Face your work. Eh? We are all here waiting for their own reaction. Okay, Papa, if you say so. Just that I'm not comfortable with their decision. Greetings, my princess. Has he been fed? Not yet, my princess. Then go get him food to eat immediately. Go! How are you? I know you're hurt. But I need you to understand that I am not in support of my father's decision to keep you here. Then let me go. If you're not in support, let me out of this place. I will. But... I uh, know. I know there will be a but. But let me tell you one thing. Go and tell your stupid father to let me out of this place before my father arrives. I swear by the name of the gods, he will pay for this. Can you just calm down? I'm on your side. Then let me out of this place if you're on my side. Let me out of this place. I don't deserve all this. I know. But it's not as easy as you think. Then let me be. Leave me alone. No sense. No sense. You people will pay for this. Your father and the entire Ikobe village will pay for this. You will suffer. You know my father. You know him. No problem. Osigwe. Yes, my highness. Tell me that the person you sent has found my son. No, Your Highness. The person I sent searched every nook and cranny of Ikogwe, but couldn't find where the prince is being held. Hmm. Your Highness, I have this feeling they might have killed the prince. No, I don't believe so. I don't believe that. Igwe of Forge might be senseless, but he will definitely not do that which will trigger a war in his land. They will not do that. Are you saying there will be no war, Your Highness? Oh, there will definitely be a war. We will burn down the entire Ikogwe village. But first of all, we have to get my son out of there before we strike. And Your Highness, you said the prince might still be alive. I have no doubt about that. They might be hiding him in the palace. Igwe Foji wanted to get my attention and he has definitely gotten it. Get your men ready. We will take down the entire Kogwe village. We will burn down everybody. Greatest, my princess. Leave us. You mean I should leave? Leave us now. Yes, my princess.
I'm not interested. You need it to wet your dry throat. I don't need your water. What I need is my freedom. And I must get it whether your senseless father wants it or not. I will not have you insult my father again. Or oh, you do what? What will you do? Tell me. I can see you don't need my help. I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh, princess, 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 please. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I spoke to you rudely. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry the way I spoke to you, but I feel rejected and frustrated. I know. And that's why I've sworn to help you get out of this place. But I need you to forgive my father for doing this to you. Besides, your father was so unfair to my people. I was never in support of my father. I was against him. Please, help me out of this place, please. I, I promise. I will. I will. You know there's always a guard watching you. So I need to look for the perfect time to take you out, okay? How long will it take? Not so long. You've suffered enough. So I won't let you suffer for so long. I'll let you go on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Princess. Uh... <laughs> the name is Olachi. Oh, Olachi. Thank you very much, Princess Olachi. My name is Prince Obi-Wan. I'll be hoping on you. So, will you take the water now? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. You're not looking happy. I know you don't listen to me or take my advice seriously. But please, I beg of you, let that poor innocent boy go. He has done nothing to you to deserve all this harsh treatment. I can't remember treating him harshly, so where is this coming from? Oh, uh, leave, leave us. Yes, Your Highness. Keeping him locked up in that cage is a monstrous act. If I get you very well, what do you expect? You want me to throw a welcome ceremony for him? Or probably crown him as the prince and heir apparent to this throne? Then to make you happy? Is that what you want? What I'm saying is that you should let him go. He has suffered enough. His father will come looking for him when he finds out that he is with us. So that shouldn't worry you. Are you saying he'll be there until his father comes? Why are you so concerned about that boy? He's the son of a very wicked and evil man. He even deserves death. Punishing his son for his father's sins makes you no different from the father. Did that just fall out of your mouth? Leave my presence now. I want to have some rest. I know that's what you will say. As I live. What is it? My princess, your father instructed us not to allow you out of the palace anymore. Why? We don't know my princess. <laughs> Get out of my way. Please, my princess. My father gave us a stern warning not to lie out of the palace anymore. I said, Get out of my way. I'll be forced to do what you would not like. Get, Get out of my way. Listen. And where are you going? Father, I'm going on a hunt. I will not allow you. I gave instructions to that effect. And why? 
You are forbidden from leaving this palace until I have handled the issues at hand. An issue you brought upon us with your unchecked decision? Oh, quiet, Olaji. If you were not my daughter, I would have bridled your tongue. You will not leave this palace for anything until I have handled the issues at hand. Listen, Olaji. You must understand that our people cannot be denied their rights and your father will keep quiet about it. Father, what do you tend to achieve by keeping his son captive? This has been wicked. I am not going to trade words with you. Get back into your chambers now. One more step. I mean, one more step. And I will disown you. Get back into your chambers. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Woman, why are you crying here at this time of the night? Joko, I need my son. Mother. Uguchi, you've never called me by my name. That is to show you how serious I am. I need my son. It's been up to a week now since you went missing. And anyway, you have practically done nothing about it. How do you know I've done nothing about it? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it? The last time you said the warriors are on it, I threw an infant warrior sooner on it. Mother, that's true. The warriors are on it. Yes, my queen. But they have to do it my way. You don't expect me to go to Ikogo unprepared. No. Listen, I promise I will bring our son back. But I have to adopt a painstaking approach. Igwe, you don't know what he's passing through. And you still have time for that. Look, a forgery will not harm our son. In fact, he's taking good care of him. That I know. Yes, Mother Father is right. That man is only seeking for attention. He will not harm Obi. Both of you sound as if you're there with him. I need my son back. I need not be well. If anything should happen to him. Woman, how many times will I tell you this? Nothing will happen to our son. He is fine, all right? He is fine. I want to see him. Anyway, I want to hold on the world. I want to see him, please. For the matter of him. I want to be my back. I will stay here and pray for the gods to spare my son's life. My queen, you cannot stay out here, please. Our enemies are all over the place. Please, let's go inside. I'm begging you. Please. Please, please, let's go inside. It's not safe here. I'm not going. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go inside. Please. Please, please. I'm not going. Please, let's go inside.
Oh. Thank you very much for your kindness. I don't know what I would have done without you. I've been restricted from leaving the palace. Why? My father ordered the guards never to allow me leave. Why would they do anything like that? He's afraid your father and your people will be planning to punish him for what he did. So, what happens to your promise of taking me out of this place? I guess that one is lost. No, 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 no. All hope is not lost. I made a promise and I will get you out of this place. You cannot even leave the palace. In fact, we are all facing incarceration. Just that my own is in the cage. Just now that I felt my hope of living here is near. Oh. I made a promise. And I will do it. I will get you out of here. Oh. I will look for, for other means. I cannot allow you to suffer for your father's wrongdoings. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't thank me yet. When I get you out of this place, you will thank me. Eat your food. I'm just losing appetite. Eat your food. Your Highness, I greet you. Yes, Your Highness. Are we set? Very much set. Good. I want us to plan our attack against the people of Ikogwe. I want us to hit them hard. In fact, I want you to raise down the entire village. Can you do that? <laughs> the great lion of Alumuna Kingdom who uses the skull of an elephant as his footstool. I and my warriors I'm more than ready to protect that which this land stands for. Good, good, good. Well spoken. Come in and sit down. See, you know they are still holding my son captive. I believe that they are holding him inside the palace. Because the people you sent have searched everywhere else around the village and they've not seen him. So, I want us to think of the best way to approach this so that we don't push them into killing my son. Hmm. Your Highness, if you ask me, I suggest we attack them by night. <laughs> and you think they will not be expecting us? You think they will be foolish enough not to expect us at night? See, if we attack them at night, it will be a total fiasco. Whatever we have to do, we will do it in the daytime. When we can be ready for any counter-attack, you and your men. My king, before we jump into conclusion, I think we should visit Igwe of Foji and find out from him if truly they are the ones holding the prince. For what? They are the ones holding my son. Or didn't you hear of the warriors who caught the princess of their land and foolishly allowed her to escape? It is them. They are the ones holding my son. Uh, 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 Your Highness, if I am to say my mind, my suggestion is that they should go through Amity River uh -huh. And then it will lead them into uh, Igwe Forge's uh, palace. Yeah. It's a very easy link. That is my own understanding. Yeah. They can just... This Amichi River you are talking about is filled with dangerous animals. So, I don't think it is the right thing to do. They don't have to go through that river. Your Highness, in the Iche, let's think a fast way we can save our prince. He has been missing for over a week now. The queen has not been herself since this thing happened. She doesn't sleep at night anymore. She cries most of the time. That is why Igwe of Forge has to pay for this. Yeah. <laughs> My 
my paragon of beauty. Leave us. Yes, Your Highness. Princess. I need to be left alone, Father. Oh, my dear. I know I have upset you. But restricting your movement was to protect you. I don't need your protection. I don't need you ordering and controlling my life. Olachi, you are a princess. And a prime target of my enemies. I don't want you to leave the palace because leaving the palace would be a very dangerous thing to do. And I don't want you to risk your life. You're holding another man's son captive. What do you expect the father to do? Well, I expect him to give the people their right to farm on the land. I've not come here to exchange words with you. I heard you have not eaten for two days. And I want to let you know it's not good for you. I don't want your food. I don't want food. I just want to die so that I'll be free from all of this. I cannot live my life in, conf my, my life in confinement. My princess, paragon of beauty. Don't sound like that. It's only temporal. You have just ignited the flame of war, and I hope you're fully prepared for it. I want you to get something to eat, and I promise you, all this will end soon. Just let me be. I didn't know you're this mean and wicked, heartless. Halachi, someday you're going to sit on that throne and on that stool of authority. Let me see how you will let people march on your head and trample on your rights. Father, I never said what Igwe Njoku did was right, but holding his son captive, that is inhuman and wicked. Father, that boy is innocent. He remains there. Father. Not nice. Why are you kneeling down? Please, my daughter. This is the third day you refuse to eat. And I will remain like this until you eat something. I'm not hungry. Lies. How can you go on without eating anything for three days? I would rather die than to watch you punish yourself this way. You will not die. Okay, I will eat. I will get up. Get up. Thank you, my daughter. I understand what your father did was wrong. And I'll be pleading with him to be lenient with the boy. But he hardly listened to me. Why is he doing that? That boy is suffering for something he doesn't even know. But I feel so bad and terrible for him. I feel for him too. But your father have decided to keep it until he does that which is in his mind. No way. Mother, I will not remain in this palace and watch that boy continue to suffer. No way. I will not allow it. My dear. My dear. We must be patient with him. Since the boy is being fed, I believe he will live. Hmm? And now he has restricted my movement. How am I going to survive staying idle in this palace? Don't worry. I will speak with the girls in his absence. You will? But you must be very careful. You know the people of Alumono will be targeting you. Hmm? You speak with them? I will. Okay? Cheryl, it's okay. If he doesn't do it, I'll stop eating your food first. Sit down. Sit down. Gas! 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 Let me out of this place, Gas! What is it?
is it? Have you gone mad? You're stupid! Let me of here, you beast! Let me go! Will you shut your mouth up? Can't you see you are disturbing the peace of this palace? What is your problem? No, you are, you are the person disturbing the peace of this palace, idiot! Why will you keep me here? Why will you keep me here? Let me go, fool! If my father comes here, he will mess you up! You are dreaming. You will stay here till you die. No, you are the one who's going to regret ever talking to me this way. Because if my father comes here, he will spare no soul. I promise you that. You dare talk to me like that? I will come in there and deal with you man to man. But I'm But I'm not going to be one of you. But I'm not But come inside here now. I will break you too. Anyway, I don't have your time. You can keep shouting till you choke to death. Fool. Come inside here now. Mother, why are you doing this to yourself? Do you want to injure yourself before Obi returns? Father has assured you Obi is fine and that he will return soon, yet you don't want to listen. There is no way that man can touch Obi. He cannot dare us. Because if he does, that means he has to kiss his kingdom goodbye. I know my father. He will wipe them all away. Your father has so much possessed you. Get out of my presence. Mother, you have to join forces with father and I too. I said get out of my presence. Get out. Stop being a weakling. Don't you dare, mother. No man born of a woman can think of this. If you were not my mother, you would have regretted this. Mwabunyala. <sighs> hey, Father, there's this story you used to tell me when I was much younger. Ugochi, where are you going? Greetings, my queen. Mother, where are you going? Top right there. Where do you think you're going? I'm talking to you. Where do you think you're going? Igwe, I am going out there to look for my son. That's where I'm going. What nonsense are you talking about? Mother, what is it? Can you stop this? Can you stop? Since both of you are not bothered about him, I am going to Ikogwe to bring my son back. Did you hear yourself? From what you just said now, are you making any sense? Or you want to go to Ikogwe and maybe get Oforji to release her son to you, right? Yes. I wouldn't mind taking his place. I just want him to release my son to me. You kept promising to do something and I'm here to see you make any move. Mother, honestly, I don't know what has gotten into you this morning. But I beg you, can you please get into your heart and put your spirit together? For Obi will soon return. Please. You heard what your daughter said. Go back to your heart. Njoko, I am going to get my son and you can't stop me. Oh, you're not hearing me. You want to embarrass yourself, right? Get ah! back to your hood right now. Get back to your hood. Nonsense. What are you trying to prove? <laughs> that you love our son more than I do? Rubbish. <laughs> Let me see you come out again. <laughs> My princess, what is the matter? 
Father, I'm no longer happy. Why? This is taking so much time. Mama's attitude is beginning to get to me. Do not be troubled, my daughter. I have sent for Osigwe and his men. This time, Ofoji and his people will feel the full force of my impact. Don't worry. Same old story, Father. Father, I hope you've not forgotten I'm a warrior. I don't mind going on this mission myself. No, my daughter. Please, 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 no. Listen, trust me. Just trust me one more time, all right? Okay, Father. But if the worst should happen, then I will strike. The warriors had better be fast and smart. Excuse me, Father. I believe you're all prepared. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Good. My king, we're always prepared. Good. The people of Ikogwe will feel the full force of our wrath, starting with their rascal king. And I want a smooth execution of this task. Osigwe. My king. There's something I want you to do for me. We will take down the entire Ikogwe people. And I have the perfect plan for it. Nobody messes with my son and gets away with it. Nobody. Mm. Mm. One of you should go and fetch me the chief priest immediately. You. Go fetch the priest. My king, how may I serve you? I heard the people of Ikogwe have started farming on that land. I want you to deliver a message to them before we embark on the war proper. You know what I'm talking about. Your wish is my command. I want it done swiftly, <laughs> without mercy. Let them feel our sting. Is that clear? Right away, my king. Alumana warriors! Alumana warriors! Alumana warriors! My princess, may you be like tomorrow because tomorrow never ends. You asked to see me. Osigwe, I want you to make it bloodier than my father has instructed. I want them to so feel our impact. Is that understood? My princess, I must confess, I admire your courts. Very well then. Good. I await the good news. You may not leave. That's my princess. to plant on that Igodo land. Cassava. Uh, <laughs> we are suggesting guinea pigs. Yeah. <clears throat> Maize. Amuma. What is it? Your face looks very pale. It's very unusual. Your Highness, you need to see this. What is inside? 
Your Highness, I found this in front of my house this morning. And I'm sure Alumina warriors know their way around this kingdom. Uh, but what is inside? These are the heads of our laborers sent to work in our farmland. Amua, how could this have happened when you had your men guarding that Igodo land? Your Highness, my men took a break to feed their bellies, and before they returned, Alumina warriors had done this and escaped. Njoku has dared us! He saw we surely pay for this! Hey! Your Highness, with his son? Yes, his son. We will package his son's head to him so that he will understand that the message he sent was well delivered. Your Highness, do you want his head immediately? Wait till tomorrow morning so that the head can be fresh, dripping with blood. Hey! Just, just look at that valiant of men. Go out of our land! Please save us from this! Biko, Biko! Hey! Dad, this is for you. Oh. So what do I owe this benevolence, my princess? You can thank me for the wine. But later, thank my father for the food. Because his stomach is too small to finish the food after I prepared it. Thank you, my princess. Huh? May the gods bless you. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope the prisoner is not complaining for water. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. He's fine. Okay. He's fine. You can take a break now and enjoy yourself. Ah. Mm. Okay, my princess. Uh, thank you. Go enjoy yourself. Huh? <laughs> May the gods bless you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Lilia Dano. Papa, this is no good news. If Prince obi -Wan dies, that means war. Mm -hmm. Yes. They asked for it. Yes. They asked for it. For killing five of our men. Five able-bodied men. As Igodo farmland. Eh? The Igwe had no other option other than to retaliate. Hey. Yes. May the courts help us. Hi. Papa, I am so confused. What do we do now? Nothing. Nothing. Other than to prepare for war. War? <sighs> Nambi. Papa, this is good news. Let me join the warriors in their training. And I'll become a warrior. So that I can protect us during the war. Nambi. Papa. Please sit down. But, 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 I, I, I said sit down! Look, Namde. Mate to retu walo ogodo. Ikukubia, ubuli ebulu ogodo. Mama na agwa nti nti onuro. Ebeli isi. Yana nti insuluda. So, Namde. Be wise. Oh, but you should understand that. Uh, uh, Will you shut up your mouth? Oh, yeah, get inside. Get inside and get me my food. I said, get inside. Get inside and get me my food. You... Can't you hear? Hi.
How come? What happened? I'm sure you saw what I did to the guard. Yes. Obi, I had to let you go because I overheard my father requesting to have your head first thing tomorrow morning. I need you to run as fast as your legs can take you. Run back to your village. Olachi, thank you very much for this favor. I promise you I will never forget it. Go. Be careful. Run. Run. Run, okay? How could such a thing have happened? How could it have happened that God is going to rot in that prison until they provide me the prince? How can somebody come in here and just remove someone I, I locked up? How possible is it? No, I will not spare him. He will die in that cell. He will die there until they provide me the prince. Somebody I locked up for a reason. Oh, that means this palace is so porous now. So one day someone will come in here and take my wife away. God, go and get me a mama. Now, take me a mama. How can? In this palace? So one day somebody will come here and take my wife. Go. It's a no bad woman, oh, yeah, 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 I don't mind. You go and call me the head warrior, Sigwe. Yes, your highness. My prince. My king. The prince is here. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Obi! Hey. My son. No. May the gods be praised. Is this you? Come, 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 come. I never thought I'd see you again. No. I'm so happy to see you. Me too. They tortured me. I can see that. They dealt with me. Let's go inside so that you can rest. Oh? Let's go. Mm -hmm. They will pay for this. They will surely pay for this. Of forgy. Of forgy. This is sacrilegious. How did the people of Alumina find out we were holding the prince? How did they? Did you tell them? No. Did you? I didn't. Did any of you tell them? No, you I'm still suspecting something. They are uh, each other mud. Say the truth and let our enemies be put to shame. Did you or did you not? May the boss forbid. How can I betray my own people? Bam, 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 bam. Osape, don't joke with this. My hands are clean. Mm -mm. Simple. Mm or mm -mm. Did you or did you not? May the boss see you as hey, you I for accusing me. I what? did. did what? I told them. You did what? My princess. What did you just say? 
Do you know the implication of what you've just said? The day you were going to war, I followed you secretly to Alumona. I had to go through Amechi River so that I would not be seen. You did what? On getting there, I was surprised when I didn't see any of you. But then, two of their warriors attacked me. But I, I, I fought, I struggled with them, and I, I had to, to run and return, return to the palace. Oh, my princess. So it was because of you they knew. It was because of you. You see how much danger you have put our lives in? How could you? Hi. Hey. I'm sorry, Father. I was about coming to meet you. Please help me talk to the guards. I need them to let me go out. I want to go hunting. Olachi, last night you left the room to ease yourself, right? I've never seen you wake up in the middle of the night to do such, unless you had a plan. I honestly don't know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know you are the one that freed the prince. Why did you do it? Both of us are, 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 are pained over what the boy was going through while he was in the cage. I, I had to release him to ease my conscience. How can you do such without letting me know? I was afraid you asked me not to. Of course I would have done so. You would have pleaded with your father to let him go. Do you have idea how your father would feel if he get to find out? He will not find out except you tell him. Mother, please, come and tell the guards now. I need to go and hunt. Thank you. <laughs> Come in. Son, Your Majesty, sit down. How are you feeling? I am fine, Your Highness. I am glad you have fully recovered from what that monster did to you. Your Highness, I almost died. Thank you for bringing the medicine man and on time. A forgery. You will suffer. You will suffer for what you did to my son. Your Highness, that man is wicked. But the daughter is different. His daughter is what? Don't be deceived. They are birds of the same feather. It's only a matter of time before she becomes as heartless as her father. A murderer. A murderer? Yes. He was the one who murdered your, 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 your grandfather. He betrayed your grandfather and your grandfather was gruesomely murdered. That man murdered my grandfather? Yes. He killed my father. We have tolerated him for so long. We still share the same piece of land with him, but he does not appreciate anything. I even begged him 
I promised him that I will help to feed his people till the next season, but he refused. That man is evil, more than evil. And I'm going to make sure he does not go unpunished for what he did to you. Never. Exactly. He deserves that. Your Highness, I cannot wait to see that man suffer for everything he has done. But please, spare the daughter. She was nice to me. How could you? How could you jeopardize my plans? I was going to look for you. Who asked for your help? I didn't. I told you to stay back. And if you had listened like an obedient daughter, you would have stayed back. Father, I cannot stay back and watch you perish in that war. I am a warrior for crying out loud. And who said you're not a warrior? And that's why you exposed everything, because of your vazilousness. Now the people of Alumana are going to be preparing for us. Isn't that what you've always wanted? War. Now we've given them enough reasons to want to go to war with us. Princess. I warn you for the very last time. Stay away from everything that has to do with battle. Father, I do whatever I do because I love you. And I cannot just sit down and watch you die. I will fight. Fight to protect you whether you like it or not. I will fight to protect you. I'm not doing it for you, Willow. I am doing it for myself and for my mother. You help me. Stay away from any battle. I overheard you and your father crying in your room. What is it? Mama, when will Papa know that I am old enough to take care of myself? When will he realize that I am capable enough to protect this kingdom? Calm down, my dear. No, 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 Mama, don't tell me to calm down. Don't. All I've ever done is love him. And I just want him to believe in me, believe in my strength. I cannot just sit back and watch him die. I understand you, Mew. But he's afraid because of opposition in this family. You are our only child and he's so heir to his throne. How am I supposed to be a leader who cannot fight to protect her kingdom? Mama, I am strong. I can fight. I can bring down ten warriors. All I want is Papa to believe in me. Believe in my strength. He does. But he's afraid. No parents will allow their only child to go on such a journey. What if you are caught? I need to be left alone. Olachi, please wait to Obi, Ma. Wait to Obi. Very soon, the people of Alomono will attack us with their war. Then I will fight them. I will fight them. Let them come. I was about asking you to leave this kingdom until everything is over. Never. Never, Mama. I am not going to run away from this kingdom because of the Alumona people. No! If they want to fight, let them come and I'll fight them. I need you to listen to me. Please. If these people come here, it will be a very, very bad thing. It will be a disaster. You have to leave. Okay, you know what? I'll go with you. Please. I am not going anywhere. I will not run away from my land because of the Alumana people. If they want to fight, let them come and we will fight. And I know that by the gods, victory will be ours. May the gods forbid that I will heed to such advice. I'll have to come back here. Come here! Just as stubborn as her father. 
God. Olachi. Olachi. Thank you, my friends. Obi Mo. I know what the people of Iko with did to you is wrong. But please, I want you to forgive them. Forgive them? Mama, did you say forgive them? Do you know what I went through over there? I know. Believe me, I know. But you have to let go so that peace will reign. Oh, peace will reign. Mama, even if I have to forgive everybody in that village, I will not forgive that king. Never! Obi Mo. Why are you behaving like your father? What is so difficult to forgive? Murder. Murder, Mama, especially when it has to do with a member of my family. That is so difficult to forgive. Murder? Oh, yes. What did your father tell you? Enough for me to know that King of Forge deserves nothing but a painful death for his evil deeds. Obi Mo, wait. What did your father tell you about Igor of Forge? Mama, I want to go and see my friends. I'll be back soon. But no. That whatever my father is planning for Igor Forge, he deserves it. Obi Wan! Obi Wan! Namdi. I don't know why the princess went back on such dangerous adventure. For crying out loud, her bravery is affecting everybody, and even the king. I don't blame her. Papa said her actions were propelled by a daughter's love for the father. Maybe she was just trying to protect her father. Protect her father? Mm -hmm. With her own life? That is risky now. Uh -uh. It is not done anywhere. Well, the deed is done already. But that girl's bravery marvels me a lot. The girls would have just made that a male instead of a female. Exactly, oh. Because I've never seen where a woman is behaving like a man. Me too, I've never, I've never seen, no. Oh. Hey. Anyway, Una, please, can you go to the backyard and get me some water, eh? Be cool. Okay. But you give me two meats when you're done cooking. Two meats? You are always asking me for two meats. Why can't you ask me for one? Well, you know I like meat. You like meat? Come on, go and get me water to drink. Uh-uh. I'm a man now. Which kind of man? Come on, go and get me water to drink. Never seen this kind of thing. Eh? You all have heard what happened to the prince. How he was captured and tortured. And how finally the gods in their mercy brought him back to us. It pains me that a small king like Oforji can spit in our faces and expect us to do nothing. Never! Never! We will surely respond to this! Yes. yes! Even though I want us to wage a war immediately against the people of Ikogwe, there is something I desire most and I want you to make sure it is done. I want Igwe Ofoji captured alive and put in a cage and tortured the same way he tortured my son. Oh, yeah. I want him to suffer and suffer very much. Can you do that for me? Yes, Your Highness. And Your Highness, we are ready. We are ready to serve you his call as food stool, if you wish. Good. I don't want him dead yet. I just want him to suffer before joining his ancestors. Kill whoever you have to kill. But bring me Igor Forge alive. Can you do that for me? Yes, Your Highness. And your wish still remains my command. All right, you may go. Warriors of Alumana! <coughs> Alumana Warriors! <coughs>
My princess. Osigwe. Yes, my princess. You have not left? On the way, my princess. My men are waiting, but I have instructions to pass to those two at the stream. Oh. Okay. Um. Osigwe. Do you know how I like things? Do not disappoint me. I have never, my princess, and I won't this crucial time. You will sure be happy when I return. Mm. Beautiful. You may not leave. I still don't understand why you did not allow me to join the warriors. I would have loved to see that man pay for his sins. Son, we are not embarking on a war yet. I just want them to get me that rascal king. I want to punish him the same way he punished you. All the same, Father. I would have loved to join them. Or have you forgotten I'm a warrior? Son, I know you're a fine warrior. In fact, your skills marvel me. But let's allow Kusigwe and his men to handle this oppression. Hmm? I want the people of Ikogwe to feel our sting. Yes, woman, what is it? Why are you barging in on us like this? I don't know the lies you've told our son. That I've changed him from the kind-hearted man that I used to know. What nonsense are you talking about? Njoku, you know what I'm talking about. You succeeded in steering his mind towards turning your evil path of destruction. Did you hear your mother? Do not speak to me with such disrespect. And what will you do? Beat me up? Isn't it? Mother, why don't you just calm down and stop embarrassing yourself? Son, I am trying to prove your father an evil man that he is. And you call that embarrassment? Of course it is embarrassment. Oh yes, because I don't even know what you're talking about. Neither do I know why you're raising your voice and embarrassing yourself before the guards. Father, I beg to be excused. Obi Wan. Thank the gods. Your son himself has detected your madness. Keep on embarrassing yourself. Go ahead. Njoko. Njoko. You will pay for this. Oh, come on again. You will surely pay for this. I want to go and see the chief priest. Okay. Where is the princess? Oh, she went out on a hunt. Out? I thought I want her not to step out of this palace. Your Highness, my daughter cannot be subjected to a life of incarceration. Oh. You are the one who asked the guards to allow her out against my instruction? Okay. I'm sure you will be happy when you watch me punish those guards for disobeying me. Your Highness, the guards have done nothing to you. I'm the one you should punish. All that you refuse to eat for days. What do you expect me to do? You need to stop letting her out of the palace. You know how perilous the times are. I'm sorry. Please. Warriors of Alumona are coming. They are coming, oh. Guards! Seal the palace! King of Fauci! You should be thankful to the gods that we're not here to take your life yet. 
<laughs> what are you here okay. to do? To take you to where you want to be. Forge. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> how are the mighty fallen? Yes. <laughs> I can see you brought me here to gloat. Far from it. I brought you here to face the same punishment you gave my son. Yes. I brought you here to reward you for your insolence. I can see that you are even more foolish than I thought. Huh? Yes, for thinking that holding me hostage will stop my people from demanding and seeking for their rights. Their rights. You must be joking. <laughs> that land rightfully belongs to our people. I gave you an opportunity to retrace your steps oh. and to acknowledge my superiority over you, oh. but you turned it down. I asked for a simple thing the land that rightfully belongs to my people oh. that they should farm on it for one more season just one, just one more season mm -hmm. but you wanted to prove to me that you're smart you son of a pauper oh. 
I can see that you talk garrulously like a woman. Huh? <clears throat> Better get on with what you brought me here for. Because I can't stand the odor. Shoot it from your mouth. How dare you? How see where? My king. Get this idiot out of my sight and lock him up. Yes. Remove all those cheap beads that he's wearing. Make sure he gets he gets the treatment he deserves. I will decide on the series of punishments he'll pass through. Yes. Get him out of my sight. Oh, so you still haven't decided. Dollar of a king. Stubborn goods. We should be getting ready for these people of Ukogwe. I mean, they will plan to attack us now that we have captured their king. Let them come. We are ready for them. Yes. We will raise the entire village. I trust you. No more nonsense. I know what you can do. Hey! Hey! can just embark on this suicide mission. Then let me die. I am ready to save my father. I know. We will rescue your father. Then let's go now and rescue my father. I cannot stand him going through such torture. We need to go and rescue him now. We need to save him. You owe my father that. I know. But we have to prepare and go with the rest of the warriors. We can defeat all of them. No, my princess. We cannot embark on this suicide mission. Remember, you are an heir to the throne of Ikowe. And your mother has been crying her eyes out with worries about you. Let us go, my princess. And prepare for another day. No! No! no. Elders of Ikogwe, I urge you people to go look for my husband because you cost all this. Eh? Yes, you cost it. My queen, how do you mean we cost it? Were you not the ones that encouraged him to plan for war? Were you not? I begged him as a wife to allow people for Alumona the chance to farm. No, my queen. No, it is unfair and wicked to our people. Mm -hmm. eh? If we had allowed that, what do you expect our people to eat? I wonder. I suggested he dialogue further with Igwe and Joko to see reasons with him. But instead, he planned for war. And you all supported him. Look where it has gotten him. You must provide for my husband though. You must provide him. Calm down. Please calm down. We are here to deliberate on this and to know the best approach to it. Please. Uh, by the way, where is the princess? That's another problem. She left immediately she heard what happened. Yes. I fear she's heading to Alumona. Ha! Ah, that is a suicide mission. You take us and the people of Alumona. We will we'll, we'll be waiting for them. Huh? Okay. Oh, 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 my daughter. Then they go see you. My queen and elders of Ikoma. The warriors of Alumona took us by surprise and made away with our king. But I assure you that our king will be brought back to his people. For no matter how thick a forest can be. An elephant can never be missing without a trace. Oh, <laughs> the gentle tiger. 
I appreciate your efforts. Please, do whatever you are able to do. Our people are dead with worry. If anything happens to our king, it shall be very devastating on our people. May the gods forbid nothing will happen to him. I said nothing. Namdi, nobody is safe any longer in our village. Imagine how our Igwe was taken away from his palace. They supposed say first place in our kingdom. My brother, that was so ridiculous. I just wonder the type of guards he kept there that could not even protect him. Only the gods know his fate now and that of those men that went to rescue him. I just pray the whole thing works out well. Same here. How I wish we were trained warriors. I would have loved to fight for our people. <laughs> my father will cut off my head on hearing me say that to him. Just anchored my feet on the gods for protection. <laughs> Please, I want water. I'm thirsty, please. Shut up, you old fool. Before I slice your throat open. Don't be wicked like your employers. Give an old man water to drink. What is he demanding for? My presence, so I should give him some water. Oh, water. He needs water. You need some water, old man? Yes, please. What? Oh, he really needs water. Obi, the old man wants water. I can see that in his eyes. Uh -uh. Really yes, it's very obvious. He's looking pale. Yes, like he needs his thirst assuaged. You have a point in this water. Just give him water. He's an old man. Thank you, princess. <laughs> oh, you wicked fool. Oh, may your testicles wither. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Oh. That was in the past, old man. We have you now, and you will suffer. <laughs> I can't even believe it that my daughter pleaded me on your behalf. <laughs> I'm sure she did not even know you had a beast resident in you. You are just a beast. Oh, wicked man with a kind-hearted daughter. Your daughter is nothing near to you. She's different. You are nothing but a gruesome murderer. And you suffer your sins. May the gods punish you. I curse you for toying the same evil path of destruction with your father. You will reap what you have sown. You are reaping what you've sown. Shut up, old man! Shut up! So you still have the match to talk. Little witch. Who has time to exchange the words with him? Who has time to bind the words with a wretched old wicked fool that will die soon? Please, let's leave this place. Sweet sister. <laughs> you to see my face. Yeah, go on, my man. I will give you your name for water. May your children urinate on you. May you not see the number of days I have seen on earth. <laughs> Elder Sakwe, thank you very much for all the information you've been supplying me to help me deal with the 4G. You have proved yourself to be a loyal servant. Thank you very much, my king. I shall continue to serve you for as long as my king you keep to your promise. Oh, I never go back on my word. What I have promised you, that will I do. You will not regret your loyalty to me. Thank you, my king. My family? Your family? Your family will not be touched by anyone. See, once I take over the entire land of Ikogwe, I will get you into the cabinet as the know. You will be my eye in that land. Hey, 
Thank you, my king. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what? Now tell me, what are they planning against me this time around? My king. War. War, my king. When are they striking? Mm, I don't know. I don't have information as to that, but I shall get you information. As soon as I get information, I will let you know. Do that so that I will be ready for them. Listen. You will not regret your loyalty to me. You will be adequately compensated. I have prepared and packaged enough food and provisions for you and your family to last you for some weeks. Hey. With the gas. Go and meet them. They will give them to you. Oh, my king, I thank you so much. Oh, your benevolence has no boundary. Help! Oh, thank you, my king. Can I go and see the guards? Yes, go and see them. They're on break now. They are at the backyard. Thank you very much, my king. Live long, my king. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> they are guards! <laughs> Okay, ma. Nani. Bring my food now. Huh? Nani, please, I am coming. You go, come on, bring my food. <clears throat> Nani, mm -hmm. I've been meaning to tell you something. Mm -hmm. The issue here is your relationship with Igwe and Joko. What about him? Nah. I'm beginning to sense trouble. That man is not someone you can trust. Considering the way the two villages are now. Hell, why is this that you women think through the Enos? Mm -mm. Hmm? If I am not complaining, why must you complain for me? So, look at you. Now, cha putoki putoki, you are shining, looking fat. Have you ever bothered to ask yourself how I or Sakwe get the money to feed you and feed you well? Yeah, mind yourself. Hold yourself, oh. let me enjoy my sweat, Biko. No, we are not quarreling, no. I'm only expressing my feelings. Yeah, take that your feeling inside, be cool. And let me enjoy myself. Do you put here? Your Highness, please stop crying. Stop crying, Your Highness, please. What is going on? Leave us. Mama, what is it? Why are you crying? Um, Will you get your filthy hands off me? I thought you were different from your father. Why did you allow him to corrupt instead of resisting him? Mama, my father never corrupted my mind. Instead, he opened my eyes the more to see how wicked this man is. Mama, do you know that this man locked me up in a cage and tortured your soul like an animal? How about forgiveness? Obiungwa, how about forgiveness? See, you talk like this because you're not there. You were not there to see what I went through. I almost died. If not, the daughter saved my life. That is more reason why you should have forgiven the man. His daughter has proven to you that you don't have to be an evil person like your father. You have your life to live. The choices you make shouldn't be like your father's. I see nothing wrong in what His Majesty has done. If you knew what happened in the past, you will know this man deserves every punishment he's getting. You still have not told me what this man did to you. Obinwa, I hate you. I hate you for believing everything that came out of your father's mouth. I thought you should have known him by now. That your father is a deceiver. He is a deceiver. You should have known that. Obinwa. Obinwa. Mom, if I can hear me. Njoko, Njoko, you have ended up corrupting my son's mind. You will suffer. Yeah, Tafufia. Wicked man. 
Please, my daughter, be calm, ma'am. Eh? Listen to your mother, be cozy. Mother, mother, please. Why are you stopping me? Is my father the king not worth saving? Just I don't want to risk your life for his. Huh? I love you just as much as I love my father. And I cannot sit back and allow him to suffer. No! I am more than capable. And I am ready to give the people of Alumina a war if they don't release my father. My daughter. Your life is too precious to our people. As the future of this kingdom, what if anything happens to you? Nothing will happen to you. And mother, please, stop talking about a future we are not even sure of. I want a future with no trepidation for my people. I like you, mom. I know I'm among the rest of the warriors can save your father. If anything happens to you, I will kill myself instantly. Nothing will happen to me, mother. Look, I assure you that nothing will happen to me. But I have to do this for my father. I have to go. All right, all right, all right. Hey, all right, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Someone should talk to mama. She's trying to provoke me. Someone should go and talk to her. Make her understand. I am not her baby. She should leave me alone. Bobby, if you ask me, I will I will say you choose to be upset. I have told you to learn how to ignore her words. Or better still, do not give her the opportunity to sit with you. Learn that. You have to learn that, brother. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, yes! What nonsense is this? Uh, princess, what is Papa's next plan? Mm, well, I've not asked him, but I think we have them where we want. One of their cabinet members is Papa's spy, and um, he is faithful. His information are accurate, so we have our eyes on them. This is good. I mean, this is wonderful. Oh, yes. Papa is such a genius, you know. Mm hmm That is why you should learn from the best. I think I am. I am gradually, as a matter of fact. I thought your mother said you can't come with us. She said it, but I insisted. Oh, my princess. You should know the danger. I and my men can handle this. I need to go to ensure there is no mistake. Let's not fit up for that. Let's go. Do I look like I'm ready to go back without my father? If you insist. What? <laughs>
Or they are preparing for war, just like we suspected. I suspect they went on an errand for their king. All of them. This is not right. So what do we do? You, 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 you. Go this way. My princess, go with me. You are God. No, my friend. You should not have allowed her to leave. Hmm? I tried. I trust her. But you know how stubborn or persistent she can be. She insisted on going. I hope she's safe wherever she is. My friend, there is nothing we can do now. She might have gone far with the warriors. Eh? Let's just pray as she is safe in the river she is. I have to go and the chief first. He has to help me let the go. He saved my own child. My friend, let's be optimistic. Let's just be optimistic that they are going to come back. Okay. Oops. Meanwhile, let me go and see the rest of the elders. Let me wait for the other two. Come on. Thank you for stopping me. The gods will bless you. Bless you too. Gods of our land. Papa, why would the princess take such a risk? Why did the queen mother even allow her? But she said she tried to stop her. But she refused. You should know that she is stubborn. Very stubborn. Like father, like daughter. Gods of our land. Please protect her for us. We don't want anything bad to happen to her, Papa. Papa, she's more of a male than a female. The gods would have just made her a male. Papa, I fear for her life. I really do. Nothing will happen to her. Do you hear me? Nothing will happen to her. She has the heart of a lion. Don't have any fears. Now go back and start doing what you have been doing. Papa, I hope so. I hope she comes back. She will come. Ure, my daughter, please, I want you to stop being like this. You're a woman, and someday you're going to be a mother. This is your father's footsteps you're following will lead you to nowhere but destruction. Please, I want you to plead with your brother and your father to release Iwo Forge, Biko. He has suffered enough. He might even die in there. Oh, that is my greatest desire, mother. To see him back for death and death. No one crosses our path and gets away with it. We have to teach him never to mess with people like us again. That is, if he lives to tell the story. Ure, what is wrong with you? Are you really a human being? Are you? Well, um... I have better things to take care of than stay here and talk with you. Excuse me. Goals of our land. Omomolongwa! How are the mighty fallen? Great ego for G of Ikogwe Kingdom. See how you are being really cold. But you know what? You deserve what you are getting. God! Yes, Your Highness. Flogging with that mercy. No! Don't do such a thing. I am royalty. Don't do that! Ah! 
Father go. Oh, Amuma, why? Why? She insisted, Your Highness. I couldn't stop her. Oh. oh. My princess. What an unparalleled love a daughter has for her father. <laughs> oh, Forgy, she came to save you. I said, let him go now. Why would I do that? Will it efface all the insults he poured on me? No. Or the punishment and torture he gave my son? Take me into this. Let him go. My father is too old to go through this torture. <sighs> what a kind-hearted princess of a condemned village. <laughs> it's you and your people who are condemned. Huh? How dare you talk to my father like that? Dare you lay your filthy hands on my father? Where is your conscience? I spared your life and I expect you to do the same to my father. I'm sparing your life now because of that kindness. Otherwise, you would have dropped there instantly. And don't you dare talk to me with such disrespect. Oh, my princess. Please. I beg you. Let my father go. He's too old to go through this, I mm. beg you. Mm. <laughs> Obi-Wan, I know you have a good heart. I know your heart is not like your father and you're not in support of this pain and torture my father is going through. Don't fit away your strength, my daughter. He has already bought the conscience of his son the way he has done for this old man who I disgrace. Huh? Agotawaraba. You talk of disgrace when you have the most disloyal set of council members mm -hmm. and more are willing to betray you. Father, why don't you surprise him? Bring the traitor here. Yes, Your Highness. My king! My king! Oh, shut up! I, I thought we had an agreement. Oh, oh sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nico, Nico, please. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. My king, we had an agreement. Nico, Nico, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Nico, Nico, please forgive me. Have you seen the kind of hungry cabinet members you have? Hey! More are willing to betray you. Exactly. Don't worry, I'll punish him for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me, my king, please. I have a, we had an agreement, we had an agreement. Please, I wish you have a life, you have a life. Greedy fool. Good riddance. Son, father, now it's your turn. <laughs> Your father deserves all the punishments we are giving him. It is time to pay the ultimate price. Oh, Obi Wan, please. Do it, son. Do it for your grandfather. Obi, Obi Wan. Tell him, Joko. Yes. What did you tell him? Shut up. Thank you, please, Obi, please. Obi, do it. Do not listen to her. Do it. Obi, do it. Do not listen to her. Uh, uh, oh. Let the war begin. Kill every soul you set your eyes on. Tell it. 
I feel like drinking to stupor. That's so how happy I am today. Me too. I'm very, very happy. You see? I have given that man what he deserves. And I know our grandfather will be so glad because we have honored him. Mm. Wherever our grandfather is, I'm sure he will be very happy. Yes. He'll be proud of us. Mm. Obi. Mm. I am not seeing a brief and no nonsense king of Alumona kingdom in you. Oh, thank you very much, my lovely sister. Mm -hmm. mm. I want to drink for Nati tomorrow. Eh? Mm -hmm. Hey! I hope we see how more drinks here. I could have vouched that I know you too well as my son. But the person I saw today was a monster. Mama, what, what is it? You murdered an innocent man in cold blood. That's what the problem is. Mama, that man deserves to die. Including his people. Do you know how many innocent lives that are being wasted right now? How could you agree to genocide? How could you? That was my father's decision, not mine. Were you not there when he was giving orders to his head guards? But you kept quiet. You kept quiet, showing that you were in support. Piwa, how could you? How could you, obi -Wan? When did you become this monstrous? I killed that man to honor my grandfather. To honor your grandfather? Oh, yes. That man, that stupid man of forge killed my grandfather. Are you not aware? Is that what your father told you? Where is he? Where is that body? You beast. Now I know what you told our son that made him change. How dare you call me a beast? Njoku, I will call you a beast. I will call you any name that I like. You lied to our son that his grandfather was murdered by a forgy. Were you there when he died? Of course I was here. And I know he died of a strange ailment. Well, it was a forger who killed him. You lie. Njoko, you lie. You deceived our son that he avenged his grandfather's death. Let me tell you something. Whatever I choose to tell my son is none of your business. You succeeded in your plans. Go ahead and clap for yourself. You heartless murderer. Fool. Njoko, you are a disgrace. You are a disgrace to the throne you sit on. And you will surely suffer for your atrocities. Me? Yes. How dare you insult me again and again? How dare you? What else can you do? What? Get out of my sight now before I strangle you to death. Get out. This is the last time you're going to hit me. Because I've had enough of rubbish from an evil man like you. I'm warning you, Gochi. Beware of the inferno you have raised. Lest it consumes you. Oh, what if he here, me? Njoku, Iman, make my rubbish. 
Now I wish to repeat myself. Can someone tell me why your faces are so moody? Papa, I can't believe this. Papa, I can't believe that Mazi Osakwe could be like this. How could he betray his own people? His own people, Papa. Oh, that. <laughs> My son. It's greed. Yes, greed. The same greed we've been talking about. Hmm? Hi. Well, it still serves him well. He has paid with his life. What a disgrace to this kingdom. Papa, look at what his greed has cost us. Just look at what his greed has cost us. Oh, our Igwe. His kind-hearted Lolo and others. Papa, I just feel bitter. I'm bitter. I cannot stop imagining this. The whole thing happened so fast. Just within a blink of an eye. Hmm. Well, I keep telling you. As needed, That is why I keep telling you. That it is not good for a man to be greedy. It is not. 
Now all we are passing through now is as a result of his greed. I think you know that. I keep warning you. Greed. Greed is bad. Greed is a canker worm. Anyuku, anyuku ajoka. This is from it. And you will live long. Do you hear me? Yes. Papa, it's okay. It's just that I feel so bad for her. But it's okay, Papa. Everything will be fine. Here you are. I've been searching for you everywhere. You are not safe here alone. I'm not afraid of anything. The gods have done their worst already. I'm sorry about what happened. I need to retrieve my father's corpse from Alumona village. I will do that. But you have to go on with life. Please. I need to hold my father's corpse in my hand before moving on. As I promised. I would do that, but let's go home. I can't go home. There's no one to go back home to. You still have some guards over there. I wouldn't mind coming over to the palace since I lost my entire family to the Alumana warriors. <sighs> Will this ever be over? I believe so, but we have to count our losses and look for a way to make a reprisal. What about the dead villagers? Have they been buried? Almost. The remaining ones will be buried in the evening. My princess, I think we'll go through this. It's okay. Do not cry. <laughs> Some villagers told me they saw my mother walking aimlessly down to the river and they suspected something. So I had to rush. Before I could get there, my mother had already jumped into the river. What? And she got drowned. My mother is dead. What? Namdi, I've lost my mother. What? My mother is laid down. Are you sure what you I saw it with my two eyes. My mother, do such a thing now. Oh, my mother, my mother, my mother, who will be my mother, my mother, my mother, my mother. I told her not to. I didn't know she would leave me like this. My mother. I have never been insulted the way your mother insulted me. Don't let it get to your father. Just don't mind her. Hmm. Mother, what is this? I mean, where are you going? Mother, where are you going? Where do you want to live? Please stay. Abmaka, Obi, leave her alone. Let her go if she wants to. Mother, you know what? You can go for all I care! Stop! Mother, why do you want to do this? Why do you want to leave? Who are you leaving me here for? 
please. I want you to stay. Okay, if you leave now, what do you want me to do? I want you to stay with your evil father and enjoy his wealth. Since that's the life you've chosen to live. But I just pray it won't be too late for you to start realizing that you've made a mistake. Mother, please don't talk like this. We are family. Ifa, family in a day. Oh, you call this family? A family where I cannot control you, my son. A family where he beats me at will. Or not kidding, family. It is better I go back to my parents' house and spend the rest of my life instead of staying here and dying here because I want to answer your queen. Mother, watch it! Watch your mouth, mother. Stop. Watch it! Hey, you know, Yenka, you cannot blame me for my action. There's nothing wrong in avenging my grandfather's death. Obi-Wan, everything is wrong with it. Everything is wrong with it. Your evil father lied to you. And you stupidly agreed. He lied to end your trust and support, just like your sister. Because he knows you will not do so unless he tells you something compelling. You've been deceived, son. You've been deceived. Woman, watch your tongue. Why are you disturbing the peace of this palace? You want to go back to your parents' house, right? Yes. I will not stay in this house with a murderer and a deceiver. Let her go and never come back. You! Hey! Drop that thing! Maid! Go back here! Mother, go! Just go! Father, why are you doing this? What is all this? You should be begging her to stay, not chasing her out. Murderer. Obi, what would you have Papa do? Eh? What would you have him do? Can't you see Mother's mind is made up? Ask him. She has already taken her decision. I don't see anything I can do to make her change her mind. Let her go, son. Let her go. Very soon, she will realize her mistake. Everything I have done is in the interest of this family and the people of Alumona. If I am wrong, let the gods judge me. Did you see a tall, dark boy? Huge, huge. Yes, huge. Yes, I saw a huge young man walking down the road with a rope. Rope! Hey! Stay back. Neka, please. Don't come near. Stay back. I need to do this. I need to do this. Shinobi, no. Drop the rope. Drop the rope. You cannot do this to yourself. Shinobi, we love you. You cannot kill yourself now, please. Neka, what am I living for? I don't longer have anybody. As day goes by, 
The pain is becoming too much for me. Allow me to do this. Please, you guys should go back and allow me to do this. She will be calm down, please. You cannot kill yourself. You're like a brother to us. Please, you cannot kill yourself, please. For me, mama, wanna Please! Please! Don't you are like, you are like a family to you. You can't do this to us. We love you, Chikobi. Please! 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 I don't have any reason to leave. Alright. 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 Sister. Yes? Can you check the food now? I'm really famished. Are you that hungry? I'm hungry. Don't worry, the food will soon be ready, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, oh, now. I have been thinking. So Chimobi would have killed himself just like that, if not that would stop him. Hmm. Then you don't know Chimobi. He would have been a dead person if not us. But in as much as he's going through a lot right now, I still haven't seen something that will make me take my own life. Well, everybody is not the same. But I just think that we need to keep a close eye on him so that he doesn't go and do any other for that stupid thing. We have to. We have to keep a very close eye on him. You know you're his friend and you have to watch over him. He's like a brother to us, you know. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. You have to. Now. Hmm? Wait. So, if you were in his position, would you have done the same thing? Me? Kill myself. No one out of the I won't too. You know you're my only brother. I can't afford to lose you now. Not now. You or Chimobi. I don't want to lose you. Ghost of my ancestors. Why my son? Why allow that monstrous husband of mine deceive me to in the path of destruction? Now he no longer listens to me. This is not the future I hoped for. I've always looked up to my son as the only person that wipes away my tears by doing what is right when he becomes a king. But all I can see through him now is reflection of his evil father. A man I never loved. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Your Highness, you don't need to thank me. I am so honored to have you in my house. You're welcome. No, no. Um, without wasting further time, let me introduce the Onowu of our king. No, I did no. Um, my son here, Prince Njoku, is right for marriage. So it is an opportunity for me to express my love for this kingdom. So I decided that my son will marry for me to the kingdom. I have met your king, Igwenwoye. I would have loved my son to marry from his household. But unfortunately, he has no daughter. He asked me to look around his kingdom and make my choice. I have asked several questions. I have seen several girls. Young girls. But one, just one, captured the attention of my son, the prince. And that person is your daughter. Your Highness. No. No. This is a dream. 
Hey, baby, this is a dream. <laughs> Your Highness, this is a dream. <laughs> Are you telling me that my daughter, Gochungam, found favor in the eyes of the Prince of Arumana, your son. Yes. <laughs> no, somebody, somebody to wake me up. I am dreaming. No, you are not dreaming. This is a dream. It's somebody to wake me up. Mazin Zubay. Here, Your Highness. He's not dreaming. You are not dreaming. Hey. Yes. Mama. Please sit down. Mama. For me to come here. It shows that I have something very important that I want from you that will make my son to be happy and for the progress of our kingdoms. Hey, your highness, you are welcome. You are welcome. Oh no, you are welcome. My prince, you are welcome. Hey! I am overjoyed to have you. Thank you. You are welcome. Go and call Gochi Mom for me. Go and call her. Hey, she's not yet back. Hey, she's uh, she no. not yet back. No, 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 no. We're not in a haste. We will go and come back another day to see her. Uh, yes, hey. I, I will come back. Hey. Your Highness, Your Highness, may your dreams be lost. Thank you. You go, go, go. You go, ma. 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 The only daughter of her mother. Where have we been having such an all over for me? I'm not sure you're praising me like this. You go, Am I not supposed to praise you? You are my only daughter. My only hope. <laughs> To the to okay, you are welcome. Ugo, can you believe the people that came here today? Which people? Igbe Elendo of Alumona Kingdom came here with his son, Prince Injoko. Hey! Ha, ha. <laughs> have they gone? Yes, they have gone. Uh, what are they looking for? My daughter, they came to ask for your hand in marriage. Hmm? Yes! And the prince was so interested to have you as his wife. Oh, mama, no, that would be possible. It's impossible. What is that will not be possible? Eh? Ugum, are you blind? Eh? Why won't it be possible? Ugo, do you know whom we are talking about here? The prince of Alomona Kingdom. Yes. Mama, have you forgotten? Have you? Oh, God, yes. Forgot what? Oh God, do you want us to remain in this poverty? Eh? Do you? I will never marry him, and that is fine now. Eh? You will never do what? Okay. Eh? Ugochi. What does that mean? Eh? Meaning what? What nonsense are you talking about? Eh? Don't provoke me. Act my school me Calm down, my husband. It hasn't gotten up to the point of shouting. It has gotten above the point where I will shout. Eh, where, why, why, why won't I shout? Why would this, this idiot tell me that you will not marry the prince? Oh, wait a minute. Because I don't love him. Uh-uh. But how can you suggest me to marry a man I don't love? Look at you. Who my man in Beautiful ego that feeds on toad. By the way, uh, what do you know about love? What do you know about love? Gonna... Enough to know that you can't have it for any man that just came to ask for your hand in marriage. It's not for me that I love and he's the one I want to marry. That is Will you shut that thing you called Mark up? Uh, uh, shut it up! Eh? Uh, uh, let her Look at you. Let her talk. You have got him up to talk. Uh, Why would she talk? Uh, just look at the way your daughter loses. Look at it. Let me ask you, who is that Mephi? Son of a papa, mm. a nobody. Mm -hmm. eh? why, 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 would even, why would you even consider Afam in place of the prince? A royal blood. Not papa, 
Love is what made me choose him over every other man that came around. He's not from even that I love, and he's what I'm going to marry, period. Okoji, come back here! Okoji, will you come back here? I said come back here! I better wait, you let her go. Yes. Look at that girl. She has the guts to walk out on me. Imagine. Nah. Yeah. Imagine. Eh? Look at you. Go and talk to her. I will. Look. Because as far as I am concerned, she is joking. Oh yeah, no, no, all the go prince. Oh yeah, I'm there. I will. I will, my. I will. I will. Huh. What is it? What is it? Why are you crying? My parents. Your parents? <laughs> you want to give me out another man in marriage? Another man? But you agree they will wait till I'm fully prepared. I don't know the reason for the sudden change of mind. The worst part of it is that the person is even from this kingdom. The prince of Alumno Kingdom. The prince? Ready. How can you be talking about food when your daughter that left here since she has not returned? No, I don't know where she has gone to. Exactly my point. And you are not bothered. You need to go to me. No. Maybe she went to Kolako's house. I forbid that name in this house. You know what I mean? I forbid that name in this house. I'm going to go to That boy should stop seeing my daughter. He must stop seeing my daughter. And I'm going to warn him. He should stop deceiving my daughter. Then okay. Come back here. Come back here. Stand here. Where are you coming from? I want to see Afam. Afam for one one. Ugochi, ask Afam for one one. Let this be the last day you will see that boy. Would you tell him I said he cannot have you? A prince has asked for your hand in marriage, and that settles it. Papa, he's the one I want. Mechianu, will you shut up your mouth? Mechianu, guy. Eh, I ne kuko do ni shire ba apua. Eh, kisi nu nagi na nagi piko. You do ane ni ane ku. Eh, ezuzu. Oh, we ife ne megi. Eh, Ugochi. Oh, we ife ne megi. I don't know, but I na chipo. Ugochi. I will not warn you again. I will not warn you again. The next time I see the two of you together, that day, you will know the kind of heart your father is made of. Yes! I'm going to know. Get out of here. Out! Go, my man, you're going to go. I'll say, I'm going to go. Inside, you have not touched it. Ever since yesterday, you have been like this. Okay, Nimon. What is the problem? Mama, I'm not happy. Of course, I know you are not happy. I know you are not happy, my son. Eh? But why? Why are you not happy? Mama, somebody is trying to take Ugochi away from me. And I'm afraid it's somebody I may not do anything to stop. Somebody is trying to take Ugochi away from you? in this village 
that does not know that Ugochi is your wife to be. Huh? Are her parents aware of this? They are aware and they give the prince their support. The prince? Did you just say the prince? The prince of Alumona is seeking for her hand in marriage. And he came with his parents and they gave him their support. Hey! Gods of our land. Hi! Ban. My son. In that case, you have to hands off her. Uza Gareba. Cha 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 cha. Hey! Mama, how can you say a thing like that? Can you fight the Prince of Alumona? Yes, I am asking you. Can you fight the Prince of Alumona, my son? My son, I know that this is difficult for you to do. But you see in life, whatever that you cannot have, you have to let go. Mama, see, no, it's not possible. I love her and she loves me too. You know, why can't the prince just back off and let us be? Afamifuna. Afamifuna. Let her go. Let her be. You cannot have her. Enough. You cannot. Enough of all this, Mama. What is all this? Is it because you are poor? See, nobody will take her away from me. My prince, you are welcome to my house. Thank you, sir. No. Yes, sir. And uh, how is your father, the great Iroko of Aramona Kingdom? He's fine, sir. Ah, very good. Um, where is my princess? Oh, she's washing cassava chief behind the house. Let me go call her. Oh. <clears throat> that reminds me. I have a very fresh Ongeruala. Can I get some for you? It is your father's favorite. Uh, no, I, I don't need that. I will drink some other time. Are you sure? Let me see my princess first. It's okay. I'll be right back. Ugo! Ugo, Jungo! Ugo, Mom! My prince. So you, I can't find her. She was washing behind the house, washing Kadora behind the house, but now she's not there. But Mazin Zubay, you said your daughter is around. Yes, my prince, she was washing Kadora behind the house. I, 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 I didn't know she has left. Hey. Mazin my prince. You know, this is an insult to my person. I don't like this. Because I traveled away from my kingdom. To see my princess, and you're telling me she's not a man. It's an insult to my princess. Uh, prince, please accept my apology. Uh, listen, I'm to take my leave. My, my prince, Biko, accept my sincere apology. Please tell your daughter I need to see her. We have to talk. She will hear. Biko, seriously, I don't like this. It's, it's an insult to my person. Biko, accept my sincere apology. In fact, I will surely talk to her when she comes back. Biko, Bagada. Gucci, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Where are you coming from? I went to see Asa. Asa for what one? Gucci, Asa for what second? How many times did I want you not to see that boy again? Eh? You were watching Kasawa behind the house. And the moment you sighted the prince, you disappeared. Wait. I didn't know he came. How dare you lie to me? Eh? Gucci. You know what? Leave my house. Get out now! You can't send her out of the house just like that. Please, I'm pleading. I'm pleading. Okay. 
I cannot stay under one roof with a disobedient daughter. She has to go. Go and pick your things and leave my house. I'm still pleading. We will discuss this later. Hey. Come over here. Come and sit down here. Hey. Hey, Benny. Hey, Benny. Ugochi, Ugochi, Mama, you should respect yourself in this house. Hmm? You should respect yourself in this house. We want the best for you as your parents. Hmm? Stop this madness. You should stop this madness because I will never, ever bleed on your behalf again. Do you understand me? Yes, Mama. Do you get me? Good. Hey, hey, I'm looking at you. Come back here. Sit down here. Let's have it. Where are you going, Jack? I'm going to find my wife. What's the matter, Mama? Who got you? Mama. Mama, how are you? I'm fine, Mama. He's like how you're coming you from too? the stream. Yes, Mama. I decided to fetch water for you. Hey! Ugochi, Ugochi. As usual. Is it one? But you shouldn't have bothered yourself. Eh? I have enough of water in the house. Mm -hmm. All the same. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Go and drop it in that pot over there. This one here is filled up already. Eh? Okay, Mama. Ugochi, Ugochi. <laughs> hey, Ezibo Mwa. Chai. Always being nice. Mama, where is that one? Mama, where is that one? That's one. That's one went hunting. Yeah. yeah. Damn. My daughter, yeah. that fan told me that the prince of Alumona came to seek for your hand in marriage. Is it true? Yes, Mama. But I told her I will not marry him. Is, is that for my wife? I know, my daughter. I know you want her fan. You want her fan to marry you too. But my daughter, who out here? Royalty is involved. Mama, I don't want anything to happen to my son. I don't want trouble. Because as it is right now, my son's life is being threatened. Mama, I've told my parents I will not marry the prince. Is it that they accept my, my decision or they leave it? My daughter, like I said, I don't want trouble. Yes. I don't want anything to happen to my son. Eh? I think you have to consider leaving my son for the prince, oh? Yes! Because I guess it's the will of the gods. Mama! Hmm? I'm surprised at you. Not after all I've shared with your son. Well, I'm sticking with him no matter what. My daughter, I am. It's not my fault. It's just that I am scared. I am scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to say. I don't want trouble. Eh? You have to understand with me. You don't understand. You don't understand it at all. Since my in law. What do you want in my house? Um, I'm just coming from the farm, so I decided to bring this for Ugochi. Afrika. You brought PS for Ugochi. Oh. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Serious minded in laws visit their in law with an umbrella. And 
or at least in chief. Your own is in bed. FM, take it to your mother. Because Gochi doesn't need it. Ah, nine. What's the problem? Oh, you're asking questions, so she has not told you. She told me, and, and I just want to know why you suddenly forgot my intentions of marrying your daughter just because of the prince. Oh, well, it's very simple, my dear. Very, very simple. Royalty is what I now need in my household. And the gods have now favored me by the prince choosing my daughter. So, so royalty is now the same as happiness. Exactly! Now you're talking like <laughs> one thing. Everlasting happiness is what it brings. Unlike poverty that brings perpetual agony. I don't want to see you in my house again. My daughter is married to the prince. Get that into your thick skull. Now get out. This is not fair. This is not fair. Right. Not fair, right? Take that. Take the prayer to your mother. Don't come here again. My daughter is married. You. Does you don't look happy, my love. What is it? Don't tell me you're still bothered over the prince proposal. I'm more than bothered. I'm just coming from your house and I met your father. He wants me to stay away from you that we can never be together. He lied. And you know it. Your father was mean with his words, and I'm heartbroken. You don't have to be wrong with me. I assure you, I will never spend the rest of my life doing what I'm going to accept you. My father has no right to indicate who I'm married. He's your father. He will make life miserable for us if you disobey him. Then get me pregnant. What? A mistake and old. I need something to hold on to. Okay. Let's take a note. Okay. I promise my father I will never impregnate my wife until after marriage. Okay, let's take an old. Let this serve as a bond between us, which can never be broken by any form of pressure. understand why your daughter don't want to see me. I've been to your house three times now. Honestly, I don't like the disappointment you're getting now. I don't. And where did you say she went? To fetch ordinary firewood since morning. Please, can you wait a little? No, 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 I don't have that patience. I'm, I want to go hunting with my friends. Oh. My friends, here's your jewel. How are you, man? I'm fine. Ugochi, what kept you? 
this money to fetch this little fire. No, 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 no. Don't shout like that. Listen, come, let, let me get you. Come, come. I'm sorry, who are you? Ah. To go to what, what kind of question is that? You don't know him? This is Prince Njoko of Haromona Kingdom. The man that came to ask for your handing in marriage. That's him. You haven't told him what I said yet. Tell him what. What are you talking about? Okay. Since you're afraid of telling him, I'll tell him myself. And um, Prince Njoko, please, with all due respect, I'm not interested in marrying you. I've told my father several after hearing of your proposal my answer has been no and we always been no please I have someone else in my life his name is Afa when you go out there you see someone else to get married I'm not going to marry you please thank you and I'm sorry Please, please, go wait. She, she didn't mean it. I can talk to her. Oh, yeah, wait. My prince, just calm down. I will talk to her. Hello? Hello? Son, I was told you refused the maidens and guards coming close to you after coming back. What is the matter? I'm sorry, Father. I need to be left alone. No. No, son. You don't need to be left alone. Boiling with sadness. When you have I, your father, to listen to. What is the problem? Father, I went to see the best daughter today. That girl does not want to marry me. Did you meet her this time around? Yes, I did, Father. She told me to stay away from her. She insulted me. What? Did you say this to her father? Her father was there when she said it. Father, that girl does not want to marry me. I've seen it. Then, there must be a problem. Did she give you any reason? None, father. Hmm. I'll have to go and see her father. There must be a reason behind this, son. Just leave me alone. She is leaving my house today. Papa, I have a reason. Ma, you want me to send into fire? I'm begging you. Because my yogi. Because I'm because was it not in your presence that I want this girl never to leave this house without my permission? Yes. Yeah. And what happened? She flouted my orders. No, Bikoni. Bikoni, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, Bikoni. She is leaving my house. I Papa, don't... why? No. What's happening here? You're asking me questions. Eh? Bikoni. Eh? Yeah. You're asking me questions. No. What did she do that you cannot forgive her? Ask her. Ask this idiot what she told the prince. Even in my presence. This girl wants to drag my name to the mall. She wants to drag the name of my family to the mall. That I will have a lot to happen. So, Papa, it's because I told the priest I will not marry him. Is that why you're trying You did what? You refused to marry the priest? Oh, God, you did you do that? You said that. Hey, hey, look at whom you are pleading for. Hey, you need to see how bold hey. she was when she was talking to the prince. I felt so, so embarrassed and disgraced. Hey. The prince even left in, in anger. And you know what I mean for? Trouble. I mean, double trouble. No problem, but I will never marry the prince. Hmm? I'm in love with Afam, and that's our man. Did you hear that? Hey! Did you hear? Hey, who got you come here? Who got you come back here? Hey, 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 hey,
Where did she know? Anywhere she like. Let's hey, go. go where at night. Where did she know? I don't the care. The only hope I have on earth, I will go after her. Hey, but if you go with her, remain there with her. Don't yes, yes. Yeah, no, I'm going with my daughter. Yes. I am going after her. Don't come back here again, no. I will not. Remain in your father's house. Yes, no. I'll Gochi. Gochi, where do you think you are going to? Where? Mama, leave me, let me be. You have a place. Do you have a place? Why do you care, Mama? Since you and Papa have decided to throw me out of the house because of the man I refused to marry. Let me go to somewhere I'll be welcome now. Where is that place? It's not your concern, Mama. Gochi, you know you are my only child, my only daughter. Hey? I, will now, I won't let you go now. Let's go back home. Please, I beg of you, let's go back home. Mama, your husband doesn't want me in his house. Let me go somewhere, leave me alone, leave me. No, leave me. Mama, just... leave me, I'm not going. I don't want to follow you to that house again. Mama, leave my me. Daughter. You are my only daughter. Your Highness, please accept my sincere apology for my daughter's misguided or transition. Honestly, I feel disappointed and, and, and ashamed, Mikubara. My son, the prince, has not been happy ever since then. I know. I deeply regret and deserve to be punished for putting that young man through such pain. It's all right. I came here because it is obvious that your daughter must have strong reasons for refusing my son. Is she around? Yes. Let me call her. Well, don't worry. Since my son, the prince, is not with me here, but you are not going to tell me that you do not know the reasons behind your daughter refusing my son. I suggest you tell me about it now. Um, uh, <clears throat> Your Highness, I am sorry I did not tell you this the first time you came. Just, it's, it's just that uh, there's this son of a papa, a nobody. He is he, in my daughter's life, and he has planned to marry her before your son showed up. Now I know. Who is this boy? Your Highness, like I said before, he is a nobody. What was one name? Yeah? I have warned him to stay away from my daughter. But my problem is the kind of grip he has over her. I, I, I don't seem to understand it. Hmm. Hmm. Since two men are interested in your daughter, I suggest we organize a wrestling contest for them. Wrestling contest? Yes. You had me well. No, no, Your Highness. Yeah, that would be necessary. Uh, Uguchi is my daughter and I can influence her. In fact, she's bound to take my videos. Oh no! Your daughter is a full grown woman. Her marriage to my son should be based on fairness. Mazinzube, my son must struggle to win her from the man of her heart. Anyone who wins should take her as his wife. Are you comfortable with this? Are you? Ulak! Ah ah! Eh, Barry, my friend! You're welcome to my house. Sit down. Where is my daughter? Where is she? I'm your nurse, sir. Your daughter is not here. Calm down. Ulak! I have warned your son severally to stop seeing my daughter. But you couldn't listen. Eh? Um, Eberi, I heard of the prince. 
and I've already won my son to hands off. To, to hands off your daughter. He will. Eh? Just calm down. Please. Olak, I have come to warn you. And this is my last warning. If I see your son near my daughter again, Olak, I will report you to Ibe. Hi, Ibe no, no. Yes. And you know what it means? I know. You know that Ibe will not be happy to see or hear your son threatening the peace of us and the alumni of people. You know that. Because, uh, oh, because I beg you, mm. don't report my son. He's all I have. Don't report my son to the Ibe. I beg you. And you know very, very well that he will be an enemy of our people. If you stop my daughter marrying the prince, I know. I beg you, I will talk to him. Don't forget my son to the ego. Warn him! I will. I will, please. for not leaving her daughter alone. Hey! What have I done to you? What have I done to you? A poor widow like me. What have I done to you? What wrong have I done to you? Why is your stubbornness causing me pain? Why? Why have I been for What, Mama? Why would she report me to the Igwe? Is it not a crime to love someone? It is a crime, my son, yes. It is a crime to love someone so desired by the prince. Yes, my son. It is a crime. A royal blood. So rich and powerful enough to wipe you out of the surface of the earth, my son. It is a crime. Mama, I don't care about his riches or affluence. Why can't you just understand that I love this girl? I can't let go of her. Then be ready to face the king. Yes, be ready to face the king. And let me tell you, the king will not be happy to hear that you are the stumbling block between the prince of Alumona and the woman he so desired as a wife. Let her go. Mama, I'd rather leave this kingdom with the woman I love than to be forced to let go of her. Nine. Hmm? Lendo was here. Yes, he was here. Uh, and what did you tell him? At first I was scared. Eh? I was very scared. Because I know his son must have told him how your stupid daughter insulted, disappointed and spoke to him with you. Where is he? Uh, I don't know where she went to. Igwe Lendu was here and after explaining and apologizing, you know what he asked me? He said, what are the reasons why your stupid daughter doesn't want to accept his son's proposal? And I told him it was because of the son of one, one, one papa, a nobody, um, pestering her life. Nine. did you mention his name? Yes, now. How would I call his name? I told him it was that farm. And for, for that reason, <laughs> he will decided to do a wrestling bout between Afam and the prince. A wrestling contest? Uh, uh, yes, so, mm. and whoever wins marries my daughter. And that makes me a member of the royal household. I know it! Uh. That's exactly what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Father, a wrestling contest? Yes, my dear. Hmm. 
I, I don't know why you reached such a decision without informing me. I said it's the noble thing I can think of. Well, Father, I'm sorry I am not wrestling with anybody. So, because you're my father. Not just my father, you're the king of this kingdom. You have the power to punish any man who stands on my way, not organize a wrestling contest for us. Come, son. Violence has never been known as a solution. There is one challenge for every man, and that is getting the right woman by his side as a wife. And if wrestling is it, then you have to. That matter, I am not wrestling with anybody. Son, do you really need the wife? Yes, I do. Then if you do, you have to fight. You have to wrestle because you are the head warrior of this kingdom. Why are you telling me, son, that your feet have suddenly turned jelly? Never. Father, I am the warrior. I am a warrior. I am still a warrior, father. I am a warrior. Then you have to fight, son. You have to fight. If you are the warrior, What are you still doing outside? Yes, my mother wants to Please, at least, let's go in. The night is still too cold. I don't want to enter inside that room. I just want to stay outside and die. I just want to die. You want to die? Why? Eh? Why are you I cannot help you anymore. That's for you. You know, I'm going to stand some chance to marry you. You defeat your friends. Hmm? Mama, how? Why? Papa, if not agree for the wrestling competition, what's stopping from telling you will learn you that I refuse to marry this one? You are making things too difficult for yourself. Eh? You know your father wants the best for you. Eh? As you want to be the wife of him, you can pray. Pray for him. You understand? Put him in your prayers. Yes, it might work. But as for me, I don't have to do anything. I pray that the prince marries you. Yes, if he marries you, eh? Our whole life will be changed. Mama, go inside the room. Get back to see your husband. You're here. Sit. Mama. 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 Uh, my son. My father-in-law. Shut your mouth up. Don't you go up and shoot it down. Who is your father-in-law? Nice, but you are welcome. Hey. Man, you're the Panama. I hope all is well. Now listen to the two of you. I have come here to pass a message across to the two of you. I have told the Lendo about you, Afam, and how you have been disturbing my daughter. Hey. Yo, Chimo. Please. I hope my son's life is safe. I begged your wife not to report to I have not finished the woman. Igwe Lendo, in his mercy, has decided to organize a wrestling bout between your son here yeah, and uh, you, uh, the Prince of Armona. The wrestling game, Whoever wins takes my daughter for a bride. But my joy knows no bound. <laughs> Each time I remember that. The, the, the prince of Arumona is not just a, a wrestling champion, but you call it the chief warrior of his kingdom. You see? Your dream of having my daughter is like that of Muronyeba. I've heard you. You've heard me? Yes. You're, you're not disturbed? Mm -hmm. eh? Okay, one, one more thing. 
the rest may come up in two days. And until then, if I see you anywhere around my daughter again, eh, I will not only castrate you, I will only circumcise you the second time. See, I'm going to the farm. Uh -huh. I overheard my father saying he just came to your house this morning. Uh, yeah, he came to the house. He told us everything. He said he doesn't want to see us together. That's impossible. I've told him that whatever decision he has reached with Iwe Lendo has nothing to do with me. Never! I'm not even scared to wrestle with the prince. What? <laughs> no, don't say that one. I've forgotten that the prince of Alumona Kingdom is also a head warrior. I don't I don't care. See, I I, I just want to fight for you. No. Wrestle with the prince of our mother. Hey, don't do this, my son. So don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yes, Mama. I have to fight for the woman I love. You want to be disgraced publicly? Is that what you want? My son, is that what you want? Why don't you back out of this competition and save yourself some respect? Hey. Mama, the prince of our is a man like me. I will oh. wrestle with him. He's trying to maintain his honor as a warrior while I'm trying to keep the woman I love very close to me forever. My son, you stand no chance here. Yeah. He will definitely defeat you. Hey, let's go back out, please. Stop telling me this, Mama. Stop! Hey. Okay, see, why don't you just leave? Leave, go to anywhere, anywhere. Leave this village. In order to avoid the press and the father, the king, I beg you. Oh, Biko, Biko, Mama. Leave! I don't want trouble. No, Mama. I'm not a coward. I can never be one. Oh, you don't know anymore. Alpha me fule. Don't do this, oh. Don't do this. Hey! Alpha mo! Alpha Wrestling. I don't know why they want me to wrestle if I get married to this young lady. Uh, wrestling, my prince. That sounds interesting. I told my father I am not interested in wrestling with anybody. Why he insisted? But I don't see anything wrong with wrestling for the woman you love. Or are you afraid of the young man she's in love with? I am not afraid of anybody. I fear no one. I'm sorry, man. Okay, now I am not afraid of anybody. I'm sorry. The young man in question is not even a wrestler. That makes it more simple. Winning that young man will be the simplest thing I will ever do in my life. Challenging. I don't know why they want it to look like a challenging thing to get that young lady to be my wife. No. I don't know why my father want me to disgrace that young man in public. I don't know why. But I think he deserves the disgrace. 
And since he wants to challenge you, let him face the disgrace. My daughter, you are welcome. Thank you, Mama. Sit down. Come and eat. Mm. Yes, food. The yam is so nice. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. I prepared it myself. You will like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. I'm eating. Uh, Mama, where is the farm? Mama has gone to the farm to get the farm from the goat. Oh, okay. You're carrying bag. Where are you going to? Mama, I need to see her from now. I know you want to see her father, but you have not answered my question. What are you doing with the bag? When I come back, I will tell you everything. Okay. It's okay. So, which way did he go to? Uh, took that way. This way. Go down to Togo. Okay, okay. Mm. Um, <clears throat> when I come back, I will tell you everything. What's the problem? We have to leave this village now. This is the right time for us to leave. What's the meaning of that? I know you don't stand a chance with the Prince of Alumna Kingdom. I'm sure he's on his way to this village for the wrestling. So I think this is the perfect time for us to leave this kingdom. Maybe if we can take the road to Okisi River, where nobody will see us here. No, I refuse to run away with you. 
We can't defeat Prince of Alumna Kingdom. We have to leave, oh. I'm not a coward. See, Gucci, I love you so much and I have to fight for you. You can't fight with him. So better leave. Please, I beg of you. I beg of you. This is the best time for us to go. See, I have my bag. I have my bag with me. See, if we run away from this village, we we'll put the lives of our parents in danger. You know, they might be punished till we return. Please, I promise you. Who is there? Who is there? No one. I, I hope one is well. Where is your son? He was going to the farm to get palm fronts for the for the goats. His presence is needed at the village square now. Hey, the prince of Alomona is there waiting for him. The prince? Yes. What? Go and fetch him now. Like I said, the prince should not be kept waiting. So go and fetch your son. Go and fetch your son. Let's go. Stand up. Stand up and go with your husband. You're keeping him with him. Go and enjoy, and I will enjoy it too. Uh, my prince, I'm happy to. <laughs> my father and I will be here to, to show appreciation. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Safe journey and my regards to him. And please take care of her. I know. Go. I <laughs> don't worry. Are you be happy with him? <laughs> oh, it was yard. You men are full of pretense. <laughs> Yourself to death? Yeah, because happened. I saw this woman. 
I knew it was going to happen. And you should have seen it too. Mama, wait a moment, please. What if they don't want to run away with her? I thought I was going to be there. Never do that. Stop crying. Please, Mama, help me. You don't think. You don't think of such things. They are bound to happen. Okay. I give you peace in your heart to hear this. Send for me. Yes, please. Sit. What is it? You see, ever since you came in here, we have not done things like this with our wife. Because you've been busy thinking about that son, but I tell you something. You and I belong together. You don't belong to that. Who? That son of nobody. He's the son of nobody. And I want you to begin to think in that direction. And you and I are meant to live together forever. You know, you're choosing the head of you. You stinking idiot. <laughs>
Where is she? We couldn't find her, my friend. We have searched almost the whole community and she's nowhere to be found. And what do you mean by you couldn't find her? What do you mean? What incompetent guards my father keeps here? We are sorry, my friend. You're sorry? Where's my father? He's having a meeting with his cabinet. He's having a meeting with his cabinet. I need to talk to him. I need to talk to him! Oh. I need to see him. I've missed him so much. My daughter, I don't know where he is. I don't know. Ever since you left him for the prince, he has not been himself. Ugochi, Mama. Don't tell me you left the palace just to come and see my son. Mama ran away from the palace. I'm here to leave this kingdom with you to a far distance. Ugochi, that is very risky. That is very risky. Mama, you can't do that. Mama, I've made up my mind. Since I cannot live the rest of my life with the man I love, I've decided to take whatever that comes out of the decision. My daughter, I am as confused as you are. I don't know what to say for now. All we have to do is to look for our family. Let him come back. So that we can know his next line of action. Oh, please sit down eh? You are welcome. Let me bring down the food. Mm -hmm. It's ready, eh? life of mystery all in the name of marriage even my parents that pushed me to this so far in the hands of the same man I'm married to a man they saw a savior brought doom to them please my ancestors please don't allow my soul to do his path please I will give anything to see that he's a much better person than his father. Surprise. 
Greetings, my princess. Greetings. I need your help. Anything, my princess. I need you to take me on a fighting stunt training again. My princess, you need to rest after what has happened. I cannot rest until I avenge the death of my parents. When do you want it? Today. I will go and get my sword. The people of Alumona must pay for causing me perpetual pains. Then I will see you at the feed. Thank you. Let us resume, my princess. I'm really tired. I need to rest. You have rested enough already. No, I need some more time to rest. I would love to do the same. But we have a mission to accomplish. And before we do that, we do not have to surrender ourselves to slumber. Do you think we can achieve this? There is nothing impossible for the gods. Mm -mm. Please, I would appreciate it if you don't mention their name. I'm not happy with the gods. They have failed us. Everything in life happens for a purpose. And I believe we will rise again one day. And before we do that, we have to prepare ourselves and surrender to the will of the gods. You inspire me a lot, Amuma. Thank you for being there for me. Okay, let's get back to work. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Focus is the utmost requisite to winning a war. Focus on your victory and allow the gods to wield your sword in every battlefield. <laughs> So, what do you suggest, my daughter? You know he needs to be on the right path. I think he needs a wife. Mm -hmm. Get him a wife. You know, we women, we know how to compel a man to do what we want. I think that will help him. <laughs> May the gods bless the day you were born into this household. You know, I have thought about that. And now that you're saying it, my goodness, our spirits always work together. Mm -hmm. Like father, like daughter. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. All right. I will discuss it with Ubingwa first. Though he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Igwen Joko. Omekago. Father, you know you will always remain my father. If I should come into this world ten times, I will be honored to be part of your generation. And I am blessed and honored to have you as my daughter. Hmm. Igwe. You are blessed, my daughter. Papa, has the princess shown any form of remorse over what she did? Uh. Yes, but she is still hell-bent on avenging her parents' death before she could ascend the throne. Papa, most times I wonder why she makes some drastic moves without consulting anybody. Papa, that could endanger her life someday. Now that she is doing the right thing. She's doing the right thing, so don't blame her. But Papa, will you people still allow her to go on that mission of avenging her parents' death? <laughs> My daughter, it's like you people try to be forgetful. I keep telling you that she's a replica of her father. Like father, 
like daughter. She does what, whatever she wants when it comes to taking decisions. Hey. As it is now, no matter who talks to her, she will only do what she wants to do. Nobody stops her. Hey, Papa, we have to pray so that the gods will be with her. Papa, let's just pray. Yes, Papa. You, you have to stop her from going for such risky mission. She's a woman. I have told you, only the gods can stop her. <laughs> Your Majesty. My son, sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. You sent for me? Yes, I did. Do you want something to drink? No, I'm fine, Your Majesty. How about joining me? Your Majesty, I was actually enjoying myself behind. Oh, oh. Okay. <clears throat> I have been worried about your loneliness. You complained to me. And I think what you need now in your life is a wife. A wife? Yes. You need a wife to feel that emptiness and satisfy your quest for warmth. Your Majesty, I think you are the person who should be looking for a wife since Her Majesty left the palace. Son, I have lost interest in women. But you need a wife to warm your bed at night. Your Majesty, first you gave me concubines. Now why do you want to give me a wife? Because I need something more permanent for you at this point in your life. Very soon you'll take over from me. Your Majesty, uh, I don't think I need it soon. Because I'm not ready for it. Maybe <laughs> later. <laughs> Son, I understand your fears but you must learn to overcome them. You were born to rule and there's nothing that can change that. Sitting on this mighty stool of power is a thing of bliss, I must confess. You must learn to face your fears and overcome them. Your friend, your friend, our friend, our friend, what? Your friend, Chimobi. Chimobi! He has killed himself. Eh? What? He hung himself to death. Ah. Where? Where did it happen? His body was seen along this Chimobi this morning. Oh, 
Tu m'as dit 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 Tu You cannot die now, you cannot die now, Chimobi! He can oh, no. He can What is going on here? What is going on, my children? Can somebody talk to me? It's Chimobi, Papa. What about Chimobi? Papa, Chimobi hung himself. What? Papa, Chimobi is dead. Hey! Hey! Aremeno! Abomination! Hi! Oh! How I wish Asakwe is alive to see himself what he has caused to his family. Greed! Greed! And you go. Oh! You are with a gift, my princess. A gift? Yes. You dare you because of our ancestors endowed you with Abele. A supernatural power that manifests only when your anger has enjoyed to rage. And it is in this world. Huh? <laughs> no wonder. I was practicing with this sword. And suddenly I felt this strange power. And this only happens when you are seriously angered by an injustice method on you or someone close to you. What actually happened before this power engulfed you? Did you think of something? I thought of the gruesome murder of my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't realize they bear this gift until they die. Because nothing has spot such feelings from them yet. You are lucky to have discovered yours. Lucky? What is lucky about discovering that I have a strange power? It's the sign of hope for our people. And with this power, you can conquer all our enemies and restore this land. May the gods be praised because they have smiled on us.
My princess, go to the palace and honor your father. Are you sure? Let me stay and fight them with you. No, princess! Oh. Go and make us proud by bringing the head of Igwe and Choco. Go! <laughs> Amuma, I was informed you came with a paladin one of the warriors to fight my warriors. <laughs> oh, Sigwe! We'll meet again face to face. Mm. Mm, and that will be the last thing you will see. I will make sure that you and your princess never leave to see the setting of the sun. <laughs> mm. Threats are like empty colors. When the penis gets erect, it looks as if you want to penetrate the wall. The scene of the tongue yeah. is that thing that kills a flint part one. <laughs> and the illusion of bravery is the one that takes a violent one. Yeah. What are for the fickle hearted? Let's get the wall! <laughs> Don't you realize you're walking into a dead trap? Ah! You wait. Let the guards kill her immediately. No, 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 no. Hey. I have seen this face before. I am Princess Olachi. The heir apparent to the throne of Ikoku. Oh, I see. You are here to avenge your father's death. <laughs> <laughs> and you came all alone. I want to be the only one you see before I send you and your cohorts to your ancestors. <laughs> I must say I admire your bravery mm. for embarking on this suicide mission all alone. Mm. Now listen to me, young girl. Drop your weapon and depart from here immediately. You, 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 your highness. You can't just let her go like that. She can't just go. No, 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 no. Let her be, considering how I dealt with her parents. Mm. She deserves to live for freeing my son. Mm. Young girl, leave this place and never come back. Go out of here. Yes. Yes. Your Highness. I suggest we get rid of this girl now before she becomes a problem to us in future. I am already a problem to all of you. Huh? Do not say I didn't give you a chance to leave. Father, what is going on here? Who is she and what does she want? Oforge's daughter. Hmm. She came to avenge her father's death. <laughs> Avenger. Connie, grant me the honor to serve you, Pangwai, with her skull. Mm -hmm. hmm. Remember, I spared your life once. I am sorry, sparing your life again is a story you won't live to tell.
Please don't kill me. Spare our lives. Please. Anything you want. Land, money, whatever you want, I will give it to you. But please, don't kill. Don't kill us. My father held your son in prison. But I took pity. You never returned that favor. You held my father and I pleaded with you. But what did you do? You murdered him in cold blood. I'm sorry. Your father challenged me. Whatever score you have to settle with my father, I suggest you do it in the land of the dead. Just let me give you a peaceful death. <laughs> and may I remind you that you stand upon the stand upon the skull of your dead warriors. And mm. also the skulls of your dead warriors. You talk too much of Sigwe. You talk like a woman. But the mouth that pulls to quench the flames of elite that love will only get itself burnt. <laughs> I've been looking for you. And I have been waiting for you. You killed my father. The same way you killed my father, including my mother. Please. You will pay for this. I am prepared for you, obi one. Good. Because you're going to breathe your life breath. I am here to avenge my father's and death. And I am here to avenge the death of my parents.
told you you were going to pay with your dear life. I have come to avenge my father's death. Don't, my child. Princess, do it! Do it! Father! Mother! You're dead! My child, spare his life. Make your parents proud! He killed the both of you. He destroyed our kingdom. I need to avenge your death. Please, my daughter. Don't kill her. What about forgiveness? Yes, my child. Forgive him. It is only forgiveness that can heal all the pain he caused you and bring peace to your soul. How can I forgive this ungrateful animal? Please, my daughter. Don't kill him. I'm not proud of the kind of life I lived. And I don't want you to live that type of life. Forgive him. And forget. Please. Kill him! I don't deserve your forgiveness. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you. Please forgive me. Influence, I'm really sorry. Obi! 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 I said I forgive you! Obi! 